All right. Hey guys, welcome back. I think we're good. I think we're ready to go. So let's go. We're going to do Final Fantasy 7 cuz why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? A few seconds for setup here. Oh my god. What an annoying dumb thing I'm dealing with here. Almost ready, you guys. Almost ready, and then we can go. Actually, a little bit better for me. There we go. All right, how y'all doing? I'm doing good. A nice yummy lunch. Cats down here hanging out with me. Maybe I'll point them at y'all at some point. Uh, and yeah. I figured, I've been playing a lot of games uh, on the channel. Just been like fun, relaxing games for me. Um, and I do like Final Fantasy VII a lot. It's just, I played it so much. I wouldn't say I'm over it, but I'm just kind of... Oh, darn it, I gotta plug the right controller in. God damn it. There we go. I had a DualShock plugged in. I needed to plug in the other one. Just a regular pad. For some reason, my DualShock won't work with this. Anyways. So, man. I got this game. I actually hated this game when it first came out because it was the first role-playing game I'd ever played. Uh, if you can believe that. First one I ever played, I got in there, and I'm like, what is this bullshit? What is this dumb, like... Why? Why? Mmm, delicious. <laughs> like, why am I why am I stuck only being able to click a menu? Because I didn't really get it. I didn't really get what the whole thing was about. I was expecting, like, a cool action game. Um, and so I, 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 I had rented it at the time, and I returned it, and I never touched it again after that. Well, not never, but I would say maybe six months to a year later, I'd started playing other games that were role-playing games. Um, I think it might have actually been Xenogears. Uh, Xenogears might have been the first one to actually get me into um, role-playing games. <clears throat> and once I'd just, you know, been playing that, and that's got kind of a combo system in it. It's still turn-based and stuff, but I was like, okay, cool, I got it. I can, uh, you know, I can do this. I can, I can enjoy these games, because now I finally get it. I'm not a dumbass kid. Um, <clears throat> so then I picked up Final Fantasy VII and loved the shit out of it. Um, it's not my favorite Final Fantasy. Wait. It might be my favorite Final Fantasy. It's not my favorite RPG. It might be my favorite Final Fantasy. Uh, but I think it's one of the best, like, representatives of the genre, especially at that point in time when it was released. Uh, and obviously, you know, it popularized and pretty much sold the goddamn PlayStation. Ah, oh, man, look at this. It has been a long time since I've touched this. Um, but hopefully we can have some fun with it. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, let me know. If you don't, scream at me. Um, also, would you guys rather I paraphrase or read everything out word for word or not read anything at all? Let me know in the chat. Um, I'm down for whatever. Odds are if you're watching this, you already know pretty much the entire script. So, I'm not too concerned about some of y'all missing something. Uh, I just thought this would be a fun, chill stream for everybody to kind of go along with. Yeah. The game opens strong, that's for damn sure. Just 
Start off with an easy, easily winnable fight in a super cool, like, almost tutorial mission. Start off leveling in your first fight. Wow, you used to be in Soldier, and not every day you find you guys being terrorists. Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing with us in the terrorism? Hold it, he was in Soldier. Now he's a terrorist. I didn't catch your name. All right, I've been thinking about this. And I've been kind of... Um... Okay, I can't... can't fit the name I want in here. Um... I've I've always want I've always wanted to name our characters dumb shit. So we're gonna name him Clig. Oops, not Cligs. Oh shit! I named him Cligs. <laughs> oh no! Damn it! <laughs> oh no! Oh, this has gone so poorly. I don't care what your name is. My name is fucking Cligs. Oops. Shit. Oh. Well, that's a hell of a way to start this fucking nightmare. All right, now I need to name this guy, and his name isn't going to be Cligs. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, God, what's a good name for this guy? Uh... Don't fucking hate me! We gotta deal with Kanye the whole fucking LP. Oh, shit. Hey, this is how you run. Yeah, this opening is genuinely fucking cool. Even nowadays. There is, uh, there is, um, uh, serious benefits to grinding in this game, grinding at levels, uh, for yourself and your materia, uh, later on. Uh, but for now, there's really no point in grinding. In fact, there really isn't any point in, like, grinding levels until you get out of Midgar. Everything, the whole of Midgar is almost just a tutorial, to be perfectly honest. A very long one but the difficulty never really ramps up. As long as you keep the right uh, materia, which is how you get your magic and stuff equipped, uh, the, the whole city, the whole first good portion of the game is uh, kind of a cakewalk. There's a point... There's a point in Midgar where you actually have a good opportunity to do some serious grinding. Um, but I don't, I, I don't think we're going to need it. Um, uh, we're blowing up these reactors because they're destroying the planet. And now we have our second party member, Kanye there. All right. Y'all wanted to spend several hours on Twitch with Kanye? That act. I might watch that. That would be fun. There we go. Thank you for pressing all the buttons for me, you damn people. Yes, push that button over there. Switch on. Do you think the switch is saying switch on? It's time to have a heart to heart in this stupid elevator. It'll drain all the life out of the planet and kill everybody. I don't give a shit, just pay me. Motherfucker, pay me. The planet is dying, Cligs. It's kind of close to Cloud, too. That's kind of sad that that ended up being... Yeah. Poor security and RoboGads come. He's super pissed about me not giving a shit about his stupid shit. You see that? Him grump. Him grumpy. Alright, let's go. So for anybody who's watching this who might not be familiar, the way a role-playing game works is um, it's a turn-based um, game where you gain levels for your characters and gain stats, and you run into random battles um, um, 
when you're in dungeons and stuff. Uh, so that you'll just suddenly be in a fight, just like that. Um, equip magic, summon, special abilities, all sorts of cool stuff. And this one's got some good stuff. This one's got some... Um, the magic system in this game is... is uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It is, it is abusable and breakable, um, depending on what and how you do it and how much time you put into it. I mean, granted, you can break any game by putting enough time into it, but... Nothing quite like this game. <laughs> Cligs and Kanye, yay, yay. So for the most part, you can just have your characters attack everybody. Um, if an enemy dies, um, there we go. If an enemy dies and another character has it targeted in like a queued up attack, um, they'll just go on to the next target. Kill it! Yeah, there we go. For some reason the machine gun doesn't do as much damage as the giant sword. Um, it's almost always the case. Got a fair amount of experience there. So you get experience, which levels up your character as an AP, uh, which levels up your materia which is your uh, words I can't think of. Uh, that's your... Shit, why can't I think of the word? Uh, that's your... The, that's your equipable magic items. And I'll show that off later. In fact, there's a tutorial I'm going to skip that talks about it. So we've got a save point there. We're not worried about the save point. We ain't touching it. Just keep on keeping on. Get through this as quickly as possible. Kanye. All right. You're going to focus on that. Actually, probably a tremendous waste. So one of the interesting things about the, the, the battle mechanics in this game are um, people with machine guns and long-range weapons, like throwing weapons and stuff like that, um, can do damage... Uh, full damage to enemies that are in the back row. Um, uh, enemies with melee weapons cannot. And there are different rows to where you'll find enemies. Uh, and you kind of want to prioritize targeting them based on that. And actually, based on that information, I'm going to actually switch Kanye to the back row here. Oops. There we go. So now with Kanye in the back, he'll take half damage from physical attacks uh, because there's a front row. Um, get Restore. Um, but he can still do full damage to everybody, except he starts off doing less damage, so it's kind of an interesting trade-off. Ain't nothing more than a hunk of chunk. You set the bomb uh, because I want to make sure you don't do something stupid. And then for some reason, we get a big giant pain boner in the middle of this. It's not just a reactor. That's dumb. I don't care. What's wrong? Hurry it up, asshole. Right. Let's plant. Let's plant the bam. Plant the bam. Heads up. Here they come. Alright, so here's our first boss. Um, if you don't do him right, he can fuck us up, but, uh, we're not gonna have any problems here. He's as much of a tutorial boss as there ever has been. Uh, he does hit hard. But, this is just pretty much a straight DPS race with one twist, and we're not gonna have any problems with it. You guys are enjoying the stream, by the way. Alright, so Kanye has his limit break, which is another cool part of this game. Is that when characters um, take damage... Oop. Nope, yeah, we can do this. Uh, when characters take damage... Um, or I think even attack later on, but when characters take damage, they can... Or they, they get a... a uh, boost to their limit bar, and when that fills up, they can use what is called a limit break, 
which is a special ability unique to them that does a ton of damage. Now we have our second limit break here. This guy hasn't used his um, special ability yet. Actually, I'm kind of interested in what's going on. Okay, here it is. So when he puts his tail up, if we hit him, he'll get us with a special attack. We don't need to, but we'll use a potion on Kligs here. I can't believe we named him Kligs. So yeah, we, we, shouldn't, we can't really do anything while the tail's up. So the best thing we can do is just wait for now until he goes to put it down. And they'll make it painfully obviously, painfully obviously, painfully obvious when he actually puts it down. So here it goes. The tail's going back down. And now it's down. We're going to hit him with our limit break here. The other cool thing about the limit break is um, it has priority over everything else. So if you use a limit break, um, but your enemy's about to go before you, it'll switch over. Alright, there's two levels there, and we got a better weapon for Kanye here. Kanye got them goons. Come on, let's get out of here. Alright. Ten minutes to detonation. Alright, let's equip Kanye with the better assault gun. Still does a little bit less damage than uh, Cloud's default Buster Sword, but it is... It's definitely beneficial, especially in the early game. got a small box full of crickets sitting on the floor over there that I haven't brought upstairs yet um, that we use to feed our lizard and uh, my cat has discovered it and he's just sitting there staring at it so if I have to start screaming at the cat just be aware it might happen um, so you're kind of you're forced to grab her there you're forced to save her I think I could be uh-oh. Back attack. Everybody's backwards now. No good. Alright, so Kanye should be enough to take him out in one hit. Yep. And he got a crit. Very nice. But now, with the way it's set up, since they got a back attack on us, since uh, Kliggs is in the back row... <clears throat> um, wow, he got two critical hits there. That's awesome. <clears throat> since he was in the back row, he was doing half damage because he's a melee character. Melee, uh, all characters take less damage when they're in the back row, uh, but melee characters do half damage. Come on, get up there. He got two crits in a row. That was really cool, actually. But that means our luck is changing. We are running into plenty of people to fight here. All right, we got a back attack now? Yes, we do. Um, getting the preemptive attack like this, you do double damage on enemies that are turned around. Also, once you take out the front row, the pe Jesus, I'm just getting crits all day. Oops, all crits. Oops, all crits. Um, once the back row is exposed, like there's nobody else in the front row, the back row can then take full damage from melee attacks. This charming, blocky old game. It is a genuine nostalgia strip, uh, trip to genuine nostalgia strip <laughs> to go back into the game and play it. Because this is 20 years old at this point. I'm playing a lot of 20-year-old games on my streams lately. Did you notice the, uh, the Greek letters back there? I think that's cool. Right. Now you have to talk to these assholes to have them open the doors for you. Looks like we're not going to get out of here without a few more fights. Get it! Ugh, these damn things. The designs are cool, especially with the fact that they couldn't really do much with the, the models at this stage. Still, for the first... I'm probably going to get this wrong, but I think this was one of the first major three-dimensional uh, RPGs. Still looks good to me. 
I love how I have to prompt these assholes to decipher the code. Let's go. There's so much to this game. Ah, oh, help her up. I don't know what the fuck she's doing here. She's getting stuck. Always falling down. Outside of explosions. Look at that bigger. <laughs> The cat has gone from sitting up in front of the crickets to laying down in front of those crickets. That should keep the planet going. Yeah. Actually, it's really interesting to see. This thing has eight, or this city that we're in has eight reactors on it. And it's interesting to see how fucked the land. We were in that goddamn explosion. Um, it's interesting to see how fucked the landscape is around the city when you finally get to that point. Look at that guy, he's burning up. His ass is on fire. You're fat, bro. All right, let's get out of here. Rendezvous at Sector 8 Station. Split up and get on the train. Hey! It's about your money, save it till we get back to the hideout. Fine. I was enamored with this game the first couple times I played through it, because I remembered playing through it and then immediately playing through it again and taking like twice as long because I was taking my time to look and try and find everything and just study everything. <clears throat> look at how fucked everything is. And she's just like... <laughs> she's just like, you want to buy some flowers? And I'm just like, ooh, pretty girl. Yeah, let's buy one. Here you are. Goodbye. <laughs> So I bought a flower and now I'm running the fuck out of here. Hey, an item. Ah! I think that's really cool. Uh, we'll talk to a fair amount of people here. Wonder what the, what is on the wall over there. Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako energy doesn't last forever. Mako is the planet's, planet's life force. The end is in sight. Protectors of the planet. Terrorists! Yeah, I don't know if we'll talk to everybody, but we'll talk to a fair amount of people. Also, we're going to get into as many uh, optional fights like this as possible here. Get a little bit of extra experience. Levels do end up mattering a lot uh, once you get out of the town here. Also, what are they firing? Airsoft guns? Do fucking four damage in my ass? Damn. Wait, not in. That one's dead. Great soundtrack to this game, too. Uematsu is a fucking beast with this shit. Probably... One of the most... I don't know if it's one of the best, because it's really jingly, but it's one of the most memorable soundtracks to any game. I mean, hell, even today... Um, even today, uh, Squaresoft, Square Enix, I guess at this point, is tripping, tripping over themselves trying to reuse, remix, and replicate every track from this. And yes, I know some of the tracks were in previous Final Fantasy games, and the ones that are in this are remixes, but this is the one that popularized everything. <clears throat> Still firing at me. Fight him, fuck it. Gonna hit me from every angle. At this point, it's just a matter of hitting the circle button over and over. So just whenever the menu comes up, just bam. Circle, circle, circle. Alright, in this case, you want to take out the one guy in the back there so you can focus on them. There we go. You're doing a good amount of damage, actually. <coughs> All right, we got this. We got this. I mean, hopefully there was never any doubt that we got this. This game is fairly easy. There are some challenges later on, but for the most part, this game is a damn cakewalk. Mm. I ain't got time for that. 
And they really gave me plenty of time to jump on here. I like the translation they did from the 2D to 3D. Um, because obviously the game that came before this was two-dimensional, and you had the, you know, like, super deformed anthropomorphized characters like this, and then they went with that art style for this game. Um, with eight, they got away from it, but then they went back to it for nine, and then ten, everything was just as photorealistic as possible from ten onwards. Um, obviously in the battle uh, scenes, they actually have, like, proportionally correct characters and character models. No way. Kligs. His name is Kligs. That's funny. Say, do you think Kligs gonna fight to the end for terrorism? How the hell do I know? Do I look like a terrorism mind reader? Shit. If y'all weren't such a bunch of dumbasses. Hey, what about our money? Grr. I'm an angry Kanye. I'm just banging on the damn door. Look at that, we made it. Kleegs. Damn right you're late. I'm waltzing in here making a big scene. I gotta look cool. She it. Fuck you. Pretty much what he says. Wah? Taking it out of your money, asshole. Move it out. You were great back there, buddy. I want to kiss you. I don't know. Actually, she acts super like, I like you and stuff. T touching me and stuff. Japan, you don't make physical contact with people. Thanks for helping me back at the reactor. Okay, bye. All right, now my dumbass character. Look at this 90s punk shit over here on the left. Train announcement. Here we are, jumping on. What is that guy doing? It looks like he's having a seizure standing up. And then he runs off. Also, his eyes are red as fuck. Look at that. You high? Are you high, boy? I bet you high. There he goes. And we're all out here hanging out. Uh huh. This is my house, so make yourselves at home. Train bastard. Stop acting like a damn kid. Sit down and shut up. Uh, I can't talk to that guy. Let me through. Here we go. You wanna look at this with me? It's a map of the rail system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it to you, because you're a fucking child. I like this kind of stuff. Bombs and monitors, flashy stuff. I don't see the correlation between bombs and monitors, though. It's about to start. <clears throat> this stuff was cool back in the day, man. Now I feel like it's more nostalgic than anything, but it's still cool to me. One ten thousandth scale. Top plate's 50 meters above the ground. Support structure in the center holds it up, and then there are struts out further out to hold it up. We blew up the northern number one reactor. We provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a, say a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. I refer to them by sectors. This is the route the train's on. It spirals around the main structure. Should be coming around the center area right now. I don't know what that symbol shit up there at the top is. At each checkpoint, an ID sensor goes off. It searches for terrorists. Anyone could tell that we look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. So we can go to a bar. Ah! Speak of the devil. Light means we're in the security check area. You never know what kind of creeps will come out. Reference to Japan's train system. Where there's now women-only cars so that they don't get fondled. It's so fucking gross. What the hell, Japan? Next time, I'll give you one I made myself. Looking forward to it. Cool. Alright, now let's talk to this asshole. You can see the surface now. 
There's no day or night because there's a giant plate covering the ground. Pretty unsettling. That would be crazy to see. I've never seen anything like that. City on a plate. Because of that fucking pizza, the people underneath are suffering. The city below is full of polluted air. The game is very 90s. The reactor keep draining up all the energy. Why doesn't everyone move on to the plate? They ain't got enough money, or they like the ground. <clears throat> no one lives in the slums because they want to. Can't go anywhere except the rails take it. Philosophy! Lots of cool little FMVs right here in the beginning, really setting everything up. Actually, how fuck, how cool does that look? The game's aesthetic was really cool. Everybody jumping off. Sure you take their sweet time with everybody running off and animations and whatnot. <laughs> oh, it ain't too bad. Get over here, y'all. I'll go fuck yourself. Mission was success. Don't get lazy now. Hard part's still to come. Because the next one's going to be bigger than that. So who's making the bombs? Where are they getting the material? Eh, it's... A dumb question. That's a question that doesn't need to be answered. I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone? Wow. There's only the train graveyard around here, and they say there's ghosts around, too. Damn. They trying to fuck? Hey, Becky. Let me smash. You want some fuck? I'm not letting you go tonight. Wow. That's it? Okay. Keep going. There's a save point and some shit over there. Look at this guy. Ah, I scared the shit out of him. Oops. What on earth are you doing? Just butt out G's. Huh, you come to see it too? There's a bombing on top. If this pillar should come down, everyone in the slums is dust. Well, there's no point worrying about that. Hey, look, it's huge, ain't it? Stop trying to show me your dick, bro. No, they're talking about this big-ass support structure over here. Like this big giant concrete and possibly rebar thing. I don't know. I don't think that's actually feasible. <laughs> Probably wrong though. Looks cool. For being in the slums all the time, you rarely actually get to see the upper plate. This is my place, but you can come here when you want. Bye, bro. Over here now. Stop yelling at me, asshole. Son of a bitch. I think that sign says Citer Bar. Or something bar. It's weird. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say there was a terrorist explosion. What does it mean? Knock out Midgar's power and all of its computers and signals are gonna be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. A lot of innocent people got killed too. That had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least people could have gone in their sleep. Explosions, explosions. Oh man, Avalanche is so cool. I'm not opening up, go away. Everybody's kind of freaked out because of the explosion. What do y'all got to say? Oh Jesus, what the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. My slow moving ass. They say a Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking, watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden I get kicked out of the fucking store. What's up with that? Fuck you. All right. Let's continue on here. Papa. Aw, she got scared by me because I'm a creepy blonde Japanese dude. It looks like he hasn't eaten in decades. And here's Tig old Biddies. Welcome home, Kliggs. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Kanye? Fuck yeah, I did. Should have known. He's always pushing people around, and you've always been in fights. Ever since you were little, I was worried. Don't be worried. Alright, what's your name? Uh... 
Uh, 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 don't complain about this. It's fine. <laughs> oh. So we fucked up naming our main character. We named Barrett Kanye. And now we've got honkers. You almost never see them in the slums. But, flower for me? Oh, Cliggs, you shouldn't have. So I can give it to Honkers, and she'll want my dick. Or I can give it to Marlene, and her dad will give me more money. But I don't care about money, so we're going for Honkers. Maybe I should fill the store with flowers. Alright, now what? Marlene seems a little shy. Nothing like that first drink after a job. Yeah, I'll have a drink. This is the last game where the main character in a Final Fantasy game could drink, because he's 21, I think. I think he's 21. Uh, Honkers is either 20 or 21. And uh, Aerith, or Eris, depending on what boat you fall into, is 22 or 23. You're still a rookie here, so you better listen to whatever I tell you. Fuck this, I'm out. Oh no! Big angry Kanye West man. Aww, she loves her daddy. That's good. You all right, Kanye? Great. How you doing, honkers? Starting the meeting. I'm in a super cool secret hideout. God. Eh, it's okay. All right, let's go over here and continue to get drink. Come on. Let me talk to her. Sit down. Fine. But he's yelling at me, telling me what to do and shit. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. I got something hard for you. <laughs> All right, let's go. There we go. I'm gonna drink. She's happy to see me. It wasn't even a tough job. We just blew up a, re a fucking power plant. You were in soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Kanye. All right, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Feeling all right? Yeah. You just look a little tired. Okay, fuck it. I'll take that at face value. All right, let's go. Sin! The explosion was a sin! Tonight, the number one reactor was bombed. The terrorist group Avalanche has claimed responsibility for the bombing. It is expected that terrorists will continue its reign of terror, but there's no need to fear. I have immediately mobilized soldier to protect our citizenry against the senseless violence. Thank you and good night. Let's talk with you. Oops. Hey, look at the news. What a blast. I think it was all because of my bomb. And all I really did was just make it like the computers told me. Wow. Must have made a miscalculation somewhere. All right. Motherfucker, give me my money. Motherfucker, pay me. Is there anyone from soldier fighting us today? Nope. Cause you a piece of shit, and you would have got fucked up. If there's anyone for soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. It's interesting to think that. Look at him holding his ass back. It's interesting to think that they wouldn't immediately mobilize elite troops to deal with a fucking uh, terrorist bombing of a power plant. Probably all of them guys in soldier are. But don't forget, your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. No ideas about hanging on Shinra. I'm like, no, fuck that, brah. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> Look at him getting in his face. I want to talk about my money. My goddamn money. These assholes fighting. I don't care about any of that shit. I don't care about the planet either. All right. All the exposition after um, all the exposition after that opening bombing mission uh, gets a little slow. To be perfectly honest, I'm asking you, please join us. I need the D. Bigs and Wedge just won't cut it. Sorry, honkers. Planet is dying. Someone's got to do something. So let Kanye and his asshole friends do something about it. Just gonna walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. Uh... Sorry. Nah, I'll be nice to her. I guess I did forget the promise. Of course I forgot. 
Seven years ago, we were teens. We didn't know what we were doing. It was dark, I couldn't find the hole. We both ended up crying. No, I don't know. Do you remember? Back then. Ugh, oh, good scratch. Thought you were never coming, I was getting a little cold. <laughs> Thought you were getting the cold shoulder. <laughs> huh. Sorry I'm late. This game's soundtrack does take it a long way because the vast majority of the game is just soundtrack. Especially in these long story expositions. You want to talk about something? I'm leaving this town for Midgar. You become a big boy. All the boys are leaving our town. I'll quit with this dumb kid voice. But I'm different. I'm not going to find a job. I'm going to join Soldier with my stupid little ponytail. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth, the great Sephiroth. That fucking edgelord. <laughs> Sephiroth went a long way towards selling this game to a lot of people, but oh my god, I'm so over that dumb edgelord shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Isn't it hard to join Shul Soldier? So I'm going to be I'm going to be mocking the ever-loving shit out of Sephiroth when he comes in. Hope you all enjoy my mocking. Just wants to bang his mom and destroy the planet, yo. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Will you be in the newspapers if you do well? Nah. <laughs> Make me a promise. Get really famous, come save my ass. From this dull life. And hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? Come on, promise me. I don't wanna. Fuck you. Ah, damn it, he did it. You fucked up, bro. Don't stick your dick in crazy, bro. Aw. There's a shooting star and everything. How cute. You remember now, don't you? Yeah, I guess. I'm not a hero and I'm not famous. Nice. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined soldier. Come on, you gotta keep your promise. Now he's gonna give me the money, but he's not gonna... <laughs> Climbs up like a fucking gorilla. Pay me! Motherfucker, pay me! 1500 <laughs> It's literally nothing. Don't make me laugh. I kind of agree with you. Got the next mission lined up, I'll do it for three. It's okay. Why is he worried about paying for his daughter's schooling when he's literally trying to save the planet? 2000. Thanks, Kligs. I can't believe I named him Kligs. I can't believe I fucked up that hard. Dun, dun. All right. Everybody slept on the ground. Now we get to be really creepy and be like, sleeping next to your big giant tits made me sleep good. Sleep well next to you, who wouldn't? Yeah! He's a ladies' man. In a universe where can and no one has sex ever except that creepy sex dude in that creepy sex dungeon of his. Vector 5 Reactor, head to the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. I got something I want to ask you. I don't know how to use Materia. I'll give you the one you found, just teach me how to use it. Uh, you wouldn't understand because you're Kanye. You don't understand the fish dick joke. This will make them guys soldier great, huh? Fuck you. Alright, so now we have access to the Materia menu. Watch the store while we're gone. Small, like, ten-year-old girl. Alright. Oops. So we've got Materia now. We're actually going to equip, um, Restore on Honkers. And we're gonna leave her in the front row, and she'll work on her. She'll do heals for us. I'm just kind of flopping around here. Um, I don't want to equip any materia on uh, uh, Kanye. This piece of the store's going under. Can't really sell any good medicine. What do we got? 
really much of anything to use money on in the very beginning here, except for the materia here. All right. We want to equip a couple of these. We might actually end up putting it. Anything to sell? Not really. Sell a few potions, but don't really make much money off of it. All right. So I guess I lied. So we've got lightning and ice equipped. We're gonna equip fire and ice on you. Those are more useful than lightning. Um, after Midgar, uh, here in Midgar, lightning's a little bit more useful, uh, but we'll be able to equip that soon. Let's check out what's going on in here. Can't just walk out of here without buying something, except that I've spent all my money. Whoops. No, oh, wait, I wanna see what they got at least, whoops. I know they sell grenades, iron bangle. We can buy two of these. Okay, so now we can equip more materia. So you equip materia in slots that are on your your oh, on your armor and stuff. There we go. We don't have any accessories yet. Change out the materia. Um, and yeah, the materia has slots or the armor has slots for material. So you can only equip as much as whatever your items allow you to equip. Don't you rest up on the third floor of my house? You gotta give me some cash. Tenjil, Gil, excuse me. All right, let's talk to him. What you got? Forget about it. Oh, you. You're my friend on the second floor to teach you. So if you go up to the second floor here, get out of my way, you fucking asshole, son of a bitch. I'll eat you. If you go up to the second floor here, um, this is a tutorial area. Oops, wait a minute. No, I want to pick up that fucking material that's right there. I got the all materia. Hey, you got one right off. That was materia. Next, take this treasure chest. See, they just give you shit. This is why I came up here anyways. Hidden treasure chest, a lot of items. There are box types and bag types, so make sure you don't overlook any. All right. So now that we've done that, now that we have our first all material, Whoops. Damn it. There's the button to do that. All right, we're gonna put ice there, and we're gonna do lightning all. So what that all does is at the first star level, and they, they the materia gains levels as you, as you use it, um, but all allows you to use the lightning spell that's linked to it from that link there on all the enemies. What are you doing, cat? Uh, once at the first level. Once you level it up, it gets better. How to use the buttons? No, I know the buttons. Okay, we got it. I got it. That's what select does. Okay, I get it. Damn it! I fucked up and I clicked the damn tutorial. Oh, the finger is talking to me. Try triangle mark ladders. Times it won't appear, so be careful. Alright. I actually didn't need to spend money on that guy. Oh. I actually did not need to spend money on. How do I get. Oh, the ladder's right there. Um, I didn't need to spend money on sleeping here. But this is your first in. Is that a weapon holster or a thong on the fucking bed? There we go, we slept in instead of going and doing our bombing run. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse went off and did it and they fucking died. No, that would be funny, but it's not the real thing. But let's see, some items up here. Lots of times there'll be items that you can't see. Um, I'm gonna jump down there. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted, I wanted to go this way. Right down here. Sweet. Alright, time to get the fuck out of here. Go talk with some people up here, but yesterday every time I was peeking at the two of you from outside the bonk. The bar, bonkers childhood friend, that's a good one. So basically everybody's worried because they think I'm gonna bang honkers. Hope he doesn't get hurt, that worries me the most. 
What are you doing? Johnny, I'm leaving, going far away, but when I come back, I'll be a better man. This is goodbye. Hey, childhood friend, you better take care of honkers. Apparently, I'm his childhood friend, too, but you rarely ever run into that guy. All right, we're going to do a quick save, and then we're going to continue on. Slot one. Save over this one. That was just me running a test. Um, this old PlayStation ain't what it used to be. This old PlayStation ain't what it used to be. So I'm always worried about stuff. I've had it. Me too. You know, this is the first time we've ever agreed on something. Yes. Well then, shall we? Yes. They died! Oh god! Eh, it's not that bad. Alright, onto the train to go blow up some more shit. Oof. So all we gotta do is blow up, what, seven more of these and the game's over. Perfect. We can knock this out before dinner. Yo! <laughs> hoodlums again. They're not hoodlums. This asshole. Huh? <laughs> Some of the comedy in this is bad. Yo, look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? This guy's like, ah, oh, shit. It's because of you assholes. <laughs> he points his fucking gun at him. Honkers is like, Rrr. She's like, I'm sorry, shit. Busting up my rhythm. Your rhythm of terrorizing random people on the train? Finally leaving. It's our next target. It's the Mr. So Serious about his work. I tell ya, there's a security checkpoint. It'll check all the trains. That Shinra's very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. We got only three more minutes to the ID check station. All right, three minutes, we're jumping off this damn train. Pligs, come over here. Okay. Okay, honkers. Bragged everybody will work about this. Already seen this already. Come a little closer. Grab the parts of me that are the warmest. Lower. Lower. It's supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. I need to fast security alert. Oh my god, we're gonna get murdered. Not really, but we gotta go. We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry and get to the next car. Someone blew it. Alright, so we gotta basically run the fuck out of here now. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Why did he call me sir? Just run! Oh my god. Keep going. Car two locked down. Upgrade to level three. All right, we clear. Not yet. They're starting another check. We caught. We're done for. If we move up the train, we'll get past it. Punch that old man in the face! Get around these fucking mother. There we go. Come on, let's go. Faster, faster. Get out of my way. All right, we did it. Maximum security alert. Thank you for telling me what you're doing as I er, before you do it so I can counteract it. It's very nice of you. We made it. Let's go. We're going to dive out of here. Look at them in their stupid disguises. Too late to be saying that now. Why'd you come along? Because... Time to jump. Yeah, I've made up my mind. Watch closely. I'm gonna jump. Care if I go first? Leader always dared to hurt the girl. Get your spiky ass hurt. Look at that light. It's not even a light, it's just lightning. See that? Kinda crazy looking. Look at him in his stupid suspenders. Looks like Mario. All right, let's go.
All right. So if we head in the opposite direction, we'll get to a security checkpoint where we can grind out a billion levels, but we don't need to do that. We absolutely do not need to do that. Those light beams are security sensors. We can't go any further. Hey, look, there's a hole here. Can we squeeze in that? No way. Let's just go down. Fuck it. Gives me the chills, man. And we got some items. We'll run into some random battles here soon. I'm excited to use the lightning all attack. The way they did the, the pre-rendered stuff so that there's like layers in front, layers in back, and stuff's moving, I think is really cool. Resident Evil did some stuff like that too, but nothing quite as... Uh, Nothing quite as, as extensive as what you find in this game. Look at that. So that all took out one of them and leaves it to make it super easy for the rest of them to get down. Kanye leveled up. What's What's-Her-Face's level? What's Honker's level? She's only five? Shit. Alright, let's keep on keeping on. There's a couple places to explore around here, and we will do that. Uh, first, we're gonna go talk to him, then we're gonna go to that middle thing. There's a couple items to pick up. It's probably not the biggest deal in the world whether we get those or not. Um, it also doesn't matter if you use the magic you have. Oh, wow. He put his ass to sleep. Took out. Can't do shit, wow. Hopefully she'll be able to do enough damage to this one. Nope. I'm gonna go through another damage cycle. At least they woke him up. Uh, you'll do you'll do different types of of like materia builds based on um, whether you're, like, running around leveling up or other stuff here. The reactor's up this ladder. Nope. Um, to the point where you can get it down to a science. And there's two big places. Actually, there's three big places to grind. One of them is the continent of Wutai. Uh, the first one is the continent area outside of Midgar when you finally get there. Um, and then there's a, uh, there's an underground ship where you can grind out a ton of experience later on, more than even in the final area. Uh, the problem is, like, everything in there can, like, one or two shot you. I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I made your ID card special, so that's why it happened. Put my heart into it, but I failed. Sucks to be you, girl. Okay, not that way. Maybe that way. Uh, yeah, maybe that way. It's been a while since I played this, so I don't remember exactly where I need to go by heart. Nope, not that way. Damn it. It was the other one. Come on, let's fly. Dee, dee, dee. She's gone now. She's off to commit Spaku. I don't know. Shut up. I'm being dumb. I know I'm being dumb. I blame you. I blame the schools. Damn, preemptive attack on my ass. Which means that their physical attacks aren't going to cut it. Their active... Um, Battle stuff fills up slowly, um, but that problem gets solved later on. Because um, as you level up, you, you're, uh, the, the, the AT gauge fills up faster. So it's it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's never. It gets it gets better and quickly. There we go. Hey, level for honkers. That's good. Grab this. I'm not worried about saving, to be perfectly honest. We're gonna pull out now, meet you at the hideout. You three do the job. We're not even gonna stay around and help. Kind of annoying. What do I do? Oh, I gotta go down this. That thing's for later. Do you 
guys like the slide? Oh no. If you guys like that track, you're gonna be hearing it a lot. Um, so Bolt's really important in the early game here, especially when you're fighting against Shinra stuff, uh, because most of their stuff is mechanical. Stuff? No, not all of their stuff is mechan mechanical, but you run into a lot of mechanical opponents early on, and the uh, they're weak to lightning, so using the Bolt's attack uh, ends up being beneficial. Hey, look, it's the exact same setup. Woohoo. We're almost done with Reactor 2. We get through these random battles. Alright, let's see. take all these guys out at once. It'll be nice once we get more all attacks. Um, but obviously, it's linked to Materia. Look at that. Yeah! That's hot. Hot fire. I watched the viewers. Wait, I went the wrong way. Damn it. I watched the viewers spike for a second there. Hey guys, if you're actually there, thanks for coming and hanging out. <laughs> you guys are in the mood for some early game Final Fantasy VII antics. Ah, uh, no materia this time. And every time he comes up to one of these things, his head gets fucked up. What is this? Young Honkus! Sephiroth. Edgelord did this to you. I wish you could name Sephiroth. Sephiroth, soldier, Mako, Zara, Zara. I hate everybody! Teen angst. I'm gonna go to my room and listen to Linkin Park. Remember that now. Get a hold of yourself, asshole. Forget it. Let's blow this shit. Uh oh. An immediate fight. Alright. Hopefully, we'll be able to take these guys out in one, but I don't know how they are going to react to. Oh. Nobody's going to react well to the bolt. Oh well. Hopefully one swing will be enough to take out these cat, dog, tentacle monsters. That's a pretty cool one. Was that her crit? I think that was her crit. Um, so there are downsides um, to equipping certain materia. Um, the magic materia, when you equip materia in general, there's usually some sort of hit to your stats that you take. Um, some worse than others. Did I do it? Yeah, I did it. Uh, some worse, excuse me, than others. So if you equip one of your character with like all of the summons in the game, um, I think each summon reduces their hit points by like five or 10%. Um, and that can get brutal. <laughs> that can get fucking brutal. Um, so you can, you can have a character with a ton of hit points that you equip a bunch of stuff on, and then they become just basically like a glass cannon. Um, there are benefits to in, um, equipping certain materia too. Like there's materia that um, uh, there's materia that'll just straight up increase your hit points or magic points. Um, equipping magic materia increases your MP by a small percentage. Stuff like that. Um, but none of that matters in the late game, to be honest, because you can kind of equip materia that uh, actually kind of helps with, uh, or helps counteract the negative effects of some of the other ones. And then you can do certain builds, like certain gimmick builds with materia um, that kind of trivialize the entire game, especially some of the, some of the bosses. So we'll actually be working on, I'll probably do the grinding off camera, uh, but there are optional bosses that are incredible. 
I went right in and right back out. There's some optional bosses that you can uh, fight towards the end of the game that are incredibly difficult, um, that are trivialized by certain gimmick builds, um, which is really cool. So we'll be doing those. Um, we'll also be breeding chocobos at some point. Uh, we will get a golden chocobo on, uh, on camera at some point. It's fun. It's a fun, stupid little mini game that I genuinely love. Actually, there's a lot of genuinely good mini games in this game. Um, some of them are just kind of crazy and ridiculous, and they're only good because of how zany they are. Um, but some of them are awesome. Right, stick these guys out. Sweet. Da, 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 da. All right, we're almost done with this one. There's no timer though, surprisingly. Right, we grabbed an ether. All right, we gotta come over here and do this dumb timing thing. Um, you would not believe how much trouble I've had with this. All right, push the button once. First try, yeah! They just basically keep doing it until you get the timing down. Um, I'm embarrassed to admit that that used to take me a long time. <laughs> Not like a long time, but like a, this is stupid that it's taking you so long, long time. This way. Oh shit, there's bros. Uh-oh. These guys in red smocks. That's a trap. Oof. Those are the footsteps. There's sound effects, you guys. The president of Shinrar. Why is the president here? You must all be those fucking terrorists. Long time no see. Oh, you're the one who quit soldier and joined Avalanche. I knew you'd been exposed to Mako from the look in your eyes. What was your name? Kliggs. It was a typo that was accidentally confirmed by the stream streamer. Can't be remembered to remember each person's name unless you remember fucking unless you're Sephiroth. Yeah, he was great. Why are you talking about this asshole? Uh, head itch. Bang. Kanye is like, fuck all that. My new album drops. <laughs> Y'all Shinra are the vermin. You're killing the planet. It'll be interesting to see how they handle all this weird story stuff and everything. Which I don't know if you guys have seen, it doesn't look like we're going to get anything about the remake until like 2020. What is that noise? The hell is this shit? Oh god! This big motherfucker. Airbuster. Weapon Development Department created him. Extract data from your dead bodies. To literally suck it out, suck out the juices. Now if you'll excuse me. Wait, President. Ermagerd. Giant Mashin. Ah! She's freaking out. Didn't like that at all. This is from Soldier? No way, it's just a machine. I'm gonna bust him up. You can run tell dad. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Nope, not fire or ice. Kanye, just do regular attack. Get the bolt. Get the bolt. So he counterattacks people who hit him from behind, unfortunately, so. Oof. I might want to pay attention to that. Then again, getting hit um, just helps with the limit break stuff, which um, might actually be more useful for us. Ooh, you hit me. Big bomber. He hit us with mortars. Kanye's got that limit break. So yeah, when you attack his front, uh, he doesn't counter attack. So I kind of like for this fight, I kind of like keeping him spinning around um, just because you can... Uh, use his counter attacks, which actually hit pretty hard. Um, you can use his counter attacks to charge your limit breaks. 
Mm, I should have waited to use that. I'm dumb here. Are we gonna hit her? Yeah, I gotta use her for healing soon. I, I wasn't healing up for this fight. Unfortunately. But look at that. Turn function non-operational. Counterattack with his dumb little bullets. So the fact that I was able to hit him so hard with that limit break is awesome. Honestly. We gotta do... We gotta change around the... Uh, on yourself. Oh, is it dead already? Oh, uh, ne never mind. Told you guys the first, the first like six, seven hours of this game is a cakewalk. It's absolutely a cakewalk. We did it. Oh no! We all got hit by that explosion. I love how we were like in the blast and we were mostly fine. It's gonna blow! Not a damn thing. Fuck it. You could shoot him in the head and put him out of his misery. Then again, when he falls 50 meters. Hey, you gonna be alright? You worry about yourselves. I'm alright, but take care of honkers. Not in that way. That's mine. Alright, sorry about all this. Stop talking like this is the end. Alright then, later. Oh, and our hero is dead. Stream over. Actually, that'd be funny if I killed the stream here with him dying. Someone who'd never seen this before would think that's the end of the game. No, I'm kidding. There's no one watching this stream who hasn't seen this game before. Y'all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, you get by with just skin knees. What do you mean, back then? What about now? You get up. Hang on, guys. Oh. Never mind. Hear neighbors doing dumb neighbor shit. What about now? Don't worry about me. Just worry about yourself. I'll give it a try. Oh, it moved. Hello? Are you fucking dead? Hello? Hey, look. This character. And me, I'm all fucked up on the ground here. <laughs> Man, the nostalgia I'm getting playing this damn game. You okay, buddy? This is a church in the Sector 5 slums. You suddenly fell on top of me and gave me a huge a scare. I almost said stare. <laughs> the roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Is this yours? It's like, oh god. I gotta look sexy for these women's... Sorry about that. It's alright, the flowers here are quite resilient because this is a sacred place. Who are you looking at? So you can't grow flowers in Midgar, but they grow fine here. And by my house, I love it here. I grow these flowers for my mama. Alright. So we meet again. He's like, um... So many women. Mar Margaret? Are you... Yeah, I remember you. You're the slum drunk. No. You're selling flowers. Thanks for buying my flowers. You have any materia? Yeah. What about it? There is you can find materia anywhere, but mine is special. It's good for absolutely nothing. That's not true. You probably just don't know how to do it because you're... Use it because you're a fucking idiot. Just doesn't do anything. But I feel safe having it because it was my mother's. Uh, how nice. You feel up to talking? I don't mind talking. Is there cushions on any of those pews back there? Uh, I gotta check on my flowers. She doesn't look like she's looking at the flowers. She looked like she was checking me out. Just a little longer. Oh! Now that you mention it... We don't know each other's names, do we? My name is... About to offend people in the chat. Forgive me! Oop, not Marty's. <laughs> okay, that's dumb as fuck. 
But we're not gonna name her Mar Martyr. Marty's, we're gonna name her Martyr. Cause fuck it. I'm Martyr, the flower girl. Nice to meet you. That almost sounds like a girl's name. The name's Kleegs. Me, I do a little bit of everything. Mostly gay porn. Oh, a jack of all trades. No, mostly bukkake scenes. Yeah, I do whatever's needed. Especially weird machine stuff. What are you laughing at? Sorry, I just... Oh, God! You trying to get in on this, too? You trying to get involved with me and lady? Don't let it get to you. Fuck does that mean? Don't worry about me. Okay, fine. You ever been a bodyguard? You do do everything, right? Yeah, that's right. Get me out of here. Take me home. Okay, I'll do it, but it'll cost you. How about if I go out with you once? Damn! Damn! I don't know. Shut up. Alright, now for these assholes. These guys are assholes, by the way. I don't know, I think they're pretty cool. They're cool assholes. I know you. That uniform. It's just a suit. Shut up, you Shinra spy. I haven't decided yet. Don't fight here, you'll ruin the flowers. Run back this way. The exit is back here. So before we do anything, we're going to want to actually equip Martyr with some shit. They were Mako-wise. Back to work. <laughs> Stupid hair. Eh, he's pretty cool. And don't step on the flowers. Rabble, rabble, rabble. I don't know. All right, let's see. What do we got? All right, I have access to the materia that um, we got off the other guys. Titan Mangle and the Guard Stick. Fire and Ice. Alright. That's a hell of a jump. And now we're fighting shit already. Okay, no big. Look at these little guys. You don't do that much damage, girly. She's actually explicitly designed around being a uh, uh, magic build. But it's not that important right now. You should just get hit up with the... Uh, get him with that bolt. Time to make a jump. There they are over there. Cliggs, that one. Like they aren't gonna let us go. Some of the translation in this original version of the game is kind of blur. I don't know if they fixed it for subsequent versions they've released. There's only one thing left. We gotta jump. Remember when you did that 50 foot jump earlier? Now do a small jump over this little thing here. Also, is that a piece of a rocket that's just hanging out in here? I think it's supposed to be like the steeple of the church, but it looks more like a fucking rocket. The Ancient is getting away. Attack, attack! Oh, they shot at her! They also called her an Ancient, too. Does that mean she's a MILF? Is she a GILF? Cliggs, help! Damn. What's that? Fight him! <laughs> I'm not gonna do- uh, uh, Alright! I'm doing this for the materia. Actually, based on how good they're, uh... Based on how good their AP is, I might continue to run. But the fact is, I mean, we're not we're not gonna have problems with these fights. Yeah, two's nothing. Ain't worth it. All right, let's go up here. Now we gotta sit around and wait. Wait for the next one. Yeah! Cliggs, help! Hold on a minute. Alright. So here's a cool little thing. We use these barrels to kill people. Ah! Oh, you've been crushed. Thanks, Kleegs. We did it. We're the best. This is the best Final Fantasy VII stream. That's a lie. It's 
Let's run back and forth. What do you got next? This guy. Hold on a minute. Now you're gonna die. It's a fun little sequence for sure. My goodness, we ain't gonna use no more barrels. We're good. Come on. Oh, I was blocking her way. Sweet, we did it. All right. That was a fun look. Oh, that went the wrong way. I was supposed to go on that little cross beam that was going across there. So let's get a quick all bolt in. And that should do it. We did it. We did the best. Around. No, no, but oh, but oh, but oh, bring you down. There we go. This is what we needed to do. Can't believe I missed it. Then we just do these crazy 20 foot tall squat jumps to get on top of this church thing here. It's not the first time they've been after you? Nah. They're the Turks. Hmm. They're an organization in Shinra. They spout for, scout for soldier candidates. But they're kidnapping you. Murder, spying, they look like it. Why are they after you? There must be a reason, right? No, I think they have they the to blah blah soldier. You're lying. I don't want to get caught by those people, by that man, by a certain organization. Fuck you, Japan. Just name use the names. Just go running around. Wait, wait, I said. Too much KFC, I can't do this like you do. Too many 20 piece buckets. Don't leave me! Oh, you're terrible. Aw, oh, they're laughing at each other. Were you ever in Soldier? Oh, fucking back. I used to be. How did you guess? They have a strange glow. I've been infused with Mako, a mark of Soldier, but how did you know about that? Oh, nothing. Nothing! Right, nothing. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, let's go. Now she can keep up, even though I'm clearly still sprinting way the fuck ahead of her. Alright. We've still got a ways to go before we're out of uh, Midgar, unfortunately. But that's cool. It's a good opening sequence. And it's crazy. It was crazy the first time I played this game, because I had no idea about the open world shit. I didn't know that was in this game, and I feel like a lot of people who were playing an RPG for the first time didn't know that was going to happen. So when you finally get there, it is just... I'm thinking there's material over there, but there's not. When you finally get there and you realize that you've only, like, scratched the surface of the world, like six hours, oops, like six hours in after you leave Midgar, it's like this whoa moment. I know a lot of people that that moment was especially powerful for back in the day. It was good. Still is good. It still is good. Like you feel, you feel like like some restrictions have been taken off of you when you get to that point. Because before that, you're just kind of you're like, okay, is it just a bunch of stuff? Smetterling, hey, welcome to the, uh, welcome to the, uh, the stream here. Yeah? I hope you're enjoying the stream. <laughs> but yeah, that first, that first moment of like, there's a whole world! It was so fucking cool. It's, ah, yeah, man. Man, this is a good game. You can't go this way yet. How do you think you're talking to? What's this guy gonna say? What a drag. I'm gonna go store in Sector 6 again? I think everybody here is here for the nostalgia boner, dude. Guy in the pipe's a weird one, no matter how much you ask him. All he says is, ah, I'm doll. I don't know. Over here at Wall Market? Yeah. Maybe I should go pick up something for me next time you're there. Let's go. Let's see. All right, what you got to sell? Um, I think part of the reason... All right, there's fire, ice, lightning, and restore, so we've got all of that. I think part of the reason Cloud's Buster Sword uh, is so iconic um, is because that's the first... I only trade items for gel here. 
Wow, you're kind of an asshole, huh? We need a couple of these. We'll just buy two for now. I'm not too worried about having to deal with it, but... Better safe than sorry, I guess. Um, but I feel like one of the reasons that that is so um, iconic is because when you first play this game... Um, mm, excuse me. Actually, no, just in general. Um, the entire time you're in Midgar for the first, what, four to six hours of the game... Um, uh, you don't get an you don't get a new weapon for for cloud or Kligs, I guess in this case um, You get new weapons for everybody else, but you're stuck with his weapon for a long time right, Grab that maybe it, was, maybe it was a good thing. I didn't spend all my money well, Weapons that's too damn bad and the reason why is the weapon stores over that way. Yeah, but all he sold me was a Titan bangle all right. Oops Gotta get used to that circle button being the confirm button. Iron bangle, let's equip the titan bangle here. And we're going to equip the cover materia on him. So, um, this is one of those non-magic materia that you get, uh, that just basically gives your character an ability. And cover allows you to take damage for other characters. Um, which, uh, can be important later. So we're gonna focus on leveling it up. Um, when I play this game, I like to have one character that is like a support magician, um, one character that is a long-range character with um, like magic attacks, um, and then one character that is mostly a physical ability-based character. Um, if I do equip magic on that character, it'll usually be like enemy skill. Uh, so here's, here's Martyr's mom. <laughs> you were followed again. You're not hurt, are you? I'm all right. I had Kligs with me. Thank you, Kligs. So what are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 far from here? I want to go to Honkers' bar. Is Honkers a girl? No, Honkers is a pair of tits. Yeah. A girlfriend? Uh, no way. We don't have sex in this Japanese game. <laughs> you don't have to get that upset. Well, that's... Nice. I'll show you the way. I'm used to it. So then why the fuck did you hire me? <laughs> I don't know, getting help from a girl. What does that mean? Are you fucking 12? <laughs> She's like, you're an asshole, dude. Taking clicks to Sector 7. <laughs> and she's like, nah, girl. No way, don't you do that. Never listen once you've made up your mind. But let's do it tomorrow. You guys go upstairs and go to sleep. All right, now we got to talk to her mum mum. From Soldier, right? Used to be. I don't know how to say this, but get the fuck out of my house! <laughs> Last thing she needs is to get her feelings hurt again. Pursuing the D and getting turned down or something. I don't know. I don't know. I think she's going to get a little more than her feelings hurt by the time we're done here. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We need to go through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. Sector 6 is dangerous because it's basically Camarocho from the Yakuza series. Oh, how cool would that be? How cool would that be a Yakuza-style Final Fantasy game based in the slums of, of Midgar? That'd be awesome. We might get something like that with uh, the remake if it ever comes out. Just wait until 2020. <laughs> I'll be half dead by then. You seem pretty tired. Who am I talking to? Who is this asshole? What's going on? I haven't slept in a bed like this in a long time. Ever since that time with that man dealing with a certain organization with that plan. God damn it, Japan. Just tell us! I bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. There are a lot of temptations in the city. A lot of weird traps in Sector 6. She just settled down with a nice girlfriend. No. You should have an older girlfriend, one that'll take care of you. I think that would be the perfect type for you. I'm not interested in having another mother figure. 
I must have fallen asleep. You must be tired. After, you know, lots of terrorist bombings. Alright, so we gotta sneak out of here. Oh, shit! I fucked it up. I think I have to stay closer to the, uh... Bannister over there to get around that. Did I fall asleep again? Looks like it. Alright, let's go. Can't get caught this time. Like, you're literally telling me I can't get caught? Because, okay. We can't run. We gotta just slowly creep out of here. We gotta sneak out to go to the concert with Brian. My fucking parents won't let me go. They won't let me smoke weed and drink alcohol drugs either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like making fun of teens. It's fun. Let's go. Oh my god, you're a demon. You're up bright and early. What are you doing here? How dare you not consider my feelings while considering my feelings. I'll take you there. Let's go. This is a cool little maze to get through. I mean, it's not really much of a maze, but... You could technically get lost running through here. I should just be running through, but I want to see if there's any items in here. It's been so long, I don't remember what is where. Damn, I'm gonna get hit by every single one of these. But, I got a limit break, so I'll be able to use that next one. Um, you get more and more powerful limit breaks. You get more and more powerful limit breaks. I should finish my fucking sentences. Uh, the more you use them. Um, so it is very beneficial to use them. These things can fuck you up, though. Come on, there we go. Because these things just keep hitting. Luckily, we've got our healer here. Which will be it's all right. There is a, uh, there's the cover ability in use there. Um, there is a counter-attack material you can get later on. That thing works out really well. It only works on physical attacks, but, um, especially when you're just out grinding, the, the ability to counter physical attacks becomes a really useful skill. Um, not so much for certain boss fights. For some of them, yeah. Some of them, not so much. Uh, we're doing okay on health. Could be better. Yep, see? There's no reason for me to go up there. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Let's keep on going. Ah, uh, let's relax for a bit. I guess this is gonna be alright. See her home. It's not a little out of the way. I don't care. <laughs> awkward girl boy stuff. I wonder how popular this game was just based on the fact that there's awkward girl boy stuff in here. I mean, as a teen, I was like, oh, these pretty girls, I want to be with the pretty girls. Can't believe it's still here. Look at this, look at this cool little, little thing here. Come up here, Cliggs. Come on. There we go. Let's hang out and do cute couple stuff. She is, she is coming on strong. She's just all over me. Look at that. Rank, you know, and soldier. I was first class. Know why there's the weird stuff? Just the same as him. The same as who? My first boyfriend. Oh God, you were serious? Yeah, we had a few kids. No, but I liked him for a while. Probably knew him. What was his name? It doesn't really matter. Oh shit, a chocobo! Oh my god! I cannot wait to get to the dumb chocobo stuff here. Huh? Hey, back there. Honkers? Dressed up in that whorish outfit? Girl in the cart was honkers? Where was she going? She looked kind of odd. She looked like she was ready for the D. I swear to God, Japan. They create these characters, and all the characters are, like, dripping with sex. But they never have sex. They always get close. But they can't do it. They can't do it. That would be too bad. That would be bad. They couldn't do it. 
So here's Sector 6. Oh, I forgot about the park coming up. I'm excited for this. Look at this place. Looks alright. This place is scary in a lot of ways, especially for a girl, so we gotta find honkers fast. See, I don't think there's anything in here right now. Except for this thing that fucking shoots at us! <laughs> How goofy is that? I wouldn't call that broken. It just seems to be designed to murder you. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get Cloud picked, but I never remember the stuff to do, so if you remember, uh, yell at me when it comes to the point. You say the shop down on the right. Let's go to the porn shop. Hey, look, it's my friend. Should I go or not? I get so mental at times like this, I'm hopeless. Hey, aren't you? What, you mean you're? <laughs> yeah, me too. You're Honkers' childhood friend, and you brought a new girlfriend to a place like this? The fuck? I know. I'm a child. I apologize to everyone in the stream. What kind of guy are you? I'm the best kind of guy. Honeybee Inn is a private club. Only members can go in. Shoo, shoo. Alright, let's hurry this up. I'm not really worried about buying or getting anything around here. Except for, I think, this one. I think this shop is actually useful. We're closed now. That's all we got. Okay. If I remember correctly, that guy actually sells something useful. It's either this guy or the guy at the machine shop up here. Over there. Machine gun! It's actually really cool. So ask here. This is Don Corneo's mansion. He's a big shot on Wall Market. But Don's not interested in men, so just get the hell out of here. Shit, what am I supposed to do here? Hmm. This trash, can we do anything with it? it belongs to the owner of the weapon shop. It keeps things saved up here. Just trash. I know I don't have to go in here yet. Wow, it has been so fucking long, I can't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do here. It's not in here. <laughs> this place is dripping with personality. Good looking heifer here. Take her to the. <laughs> he called he called martyr a heifer. I think I'm supposed to come over here and talk to somebody. Been a popular dream. girlfriend too. You know a girl named Honkers? Hey, you're pretty fast. Honkers is our newest girl. <laughs> God damn it. But unfortunately, she's having an interview right now. Here at the Honey Bee Inn, it's customary for all new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo's a famous dilettante. Now he wants to settle down and is in the market for a bride. Okay, so now we go up to the thing. That's right. Yep, we gotta go to the clothing store after this. It's just we had to go get the scoop on where Honkers is from that guy. I just couldn't remember the exact prompt. That's one of the nice things about these older RPGs, is it's not chock full of people, so you can kind of talk to everybody and, and slowly kind of fumble your way into what to do next. Hey, and you got another cute one with you. Hey, this looks like the Don's Mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll tell honkers about you. No, you can't. You're gonna get fucked. You do know what kind of place this is, don't you? You're gonna go in there and be like, Hey, Becky, let me smash. You want some fuck? <laughs> gonna go in with me? Well, being a man, that'll be pretty hard. Besides, if I bust in there, it'll cause too much commotion. But I can't just let... Oh, man, I don't know what to do. She's freaking out. What's so funny, Martyr? Hey, Cliggs, you want to smash? You want some fuck? Oh no, you're smashing Ben. Ben a ho. <laughs> I'll get that bitch a stick. Bitches love sticks. I can't. You are worried about honkers, aren't you? So come on, put on a dress. Put on a thong. Do it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is not it, crap. <laughs> 
All right, so if I remember, I gotta go to the clothing store, I gotta get a wig, I gotta get some perfume, and I gotta get some other stuff too. I'd like to get a dress. Might take a little while, that'd be all right. What's the problem? Well, my father, the owner, has been in a slump lately, and he makes all the dresses. Where's your father? Probably plastered at the bar. So you're saying we can't get a dress until we sober up that son of a bitch? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. You'd help me bring him back? Well, if we don't do something, we're not going to get a dress, right? Please help my crazy old dad. I just don't know what to do with him. The tiara, too. You're right. All right, let's do something. You get one of those by going to the sex club and getting gang raped by a bunch of dudes, don't you? <laughs> if I remember correctly, from the sleeping guy. Yeah, the sleeping guy. Cloud did say he's a jack of all trades. There's something you get from the the person taking a dump up there, too, if I remember correctly. Your father the girl with the clothing store? I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. I did say that. Make me some clothes. I don't do dudes. I'll try to talk to him. You know, mister, it's always been this guy's fucking dream to dress up as some painted up whore and to have me peg the shit out of him like Ryan Reynolds in Deadpool. So you want to help us out with that? I've got the strap on, I just need the clothes. Can you make something that like makes his butt look really girl-like? <laughs> I've taken this to a dark place. All right, what do I say here, guys? Is it soft or clean? I can't remember, because you need the silk one and I always end up getting the satin one. Clean or soft? Help me out, chat. Which one is it? Help me. Oh God. Soft, got it. Something that feels soft and is shiny or that shimmers? Which one is it? <laughs> Thanks by the way, chat. You guys are the best. Soft, soft, shiny shimmers. Shimmers, all right. Got it. I know a friend that has the same taste as him. Oh God. You know a bunch of dudes like getting plowed. All right, let's see. I don't think there's anything I have to get from Machine Gun yet. I'll end up getting the wig from that squat thing up there. But I think now I can actually talk to this guy and get something here. Yep. Hey, man, got a minute. I need to talk man to man. What is it, asshole? Really? I appreciate it. Girl, go away. Why? Gosh. I'm sorry, lady. The vending machine. I'm itching to know what they're selling in it, but I can't ask a girl. Got in a fight with the guy at the end. Yeah, I'll go. This is one of those weird porn vending machines you find in the back alleys of, like, like downtown Japan's. I don't know. All right, so I know we need to go over here. And we need to do that. So yeah, now we're working on everything. It'll be 10 gil for night. Per, 10 gil per night. Stay. Buy the one for 200 gil. Is that the one I needed to buy? Yeah, the condom machine. I hope I bought the right one. I really should have asked before just buying the most expensive one. I'm assuming it's the most expensive one, and I haven't saved for a while, so if I fucked up, I've ruined everything. Yeah, hopefully I didn't fuck up. This looks like a nice little spot. All right, there's nothing in item. Yeah, I did do the right one. Thanks, Smetterling. I appreciate it. Got it. Look at these vibrating, self-lubricating condoms that catch fire and they do tricks and there's a drone that comes with it. <laughs> a protein drink set. That jerk, I'm gonna do so much more business than him, his head'll spin. I'm motivated now, take this. What do I got? Diamond tiara. That seems like a hell of a exchange, especially since it's actually diamonds. Her got a good look at heifer there. All right, I think I get something. I get like a, a, a thing from eating here, don't I? No, sit. Have a seat. There we go. What will you have? Today's special. I can't remember which one I'm supposed to buy here, but you can do this over and over, so it's not the end of the world. I'm pretty sure this is the place where they give you a thing. Could be wrong. Oh, oh, we're back hurting. All right, there you go, enjoy. It was all right. 
item coupon for the pharmacy. Perfect. Yep, this is what we needed. Because there's somebody shitting their ass out. Okay, where is the pharmacy? There's the pharmacy. There's somebody shitting their ass out up in the bar, and I have to give them something to help with the shit. To make their shits go away. Whoa! You should say something if you're standing there. Any one medicine you'd like. Which one is it? Was it disinfected? Is digestive. That's it. That's it. I'm happy that I'm playing this with the chat, so that y'all can help me out with this shit. Yep. Here we go. Right, we're gonna go in here, <laughs> and we've got to go up here. We've got to talk to this asshole. Hey, someone's in here. Don't look. What? Give her the medicine. Okay, I guess she's puking. And I got sexy cologne from her. You've never gotten him picked before, no shit. Do you have problems with the squatting stuff, or...? Um, getting him picked is actually really cool. Since you've never seen it before, hopefully I get it A. B, if I do it, I'm not gonna spoil what happens. Um, cause I think, I think you'll get a kick out of... Nope, I'm going the wrong way. I think you'll get a kick out of the way it goes. Um, so yeah, okay, um, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy watching me get plowed by a fat old man with a gold mohawk and a weird, like, pencil-thin beard. Here it is, try it on. I got a silk dress. Yeah, the silk dress! <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah! That's funny. Here we go. How do you put this on? Okay. You have to insert that part into your rectum, and then you have to drape it up over your back. I don't know. A wig. That's what you need. You don't get to see me being pretty. I thought you might need that. You know the gym? You'll find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Like you, martyr. What did you tell him? Told him exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to peg you. I'm gonna peg you in that dress. It's gonna get real weird. My mom's gonna get involved. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go get a wig. Cause we get the wig. I think there was something else we had to do. We had to go down here. So we'll do the wig last. First, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Take this, you won't be able to get in without it. Member's card. All right, so we go in here. We talk to this guy. No, I want to talk to him. There we go. Member's card in your hot little hand. Please come in. You gonna get fucked. That's how you'll fool them. Hmm. So that's how you fooled them. I'm not really fooling them. Look at them. They're, they're so horny. Look at those typical Japanese businessmen dudes. Poo. Uh, I mean, sir. Hurry. Hurry where? Queen's room. Looks like this room's being used. Take a listen. Oh, God! What the fuck are they doing in there? Let's take a peek. What's going on in here? Oh, God. Why is it so creepy? What is that? What is going on in here? What the fuck? The wind's calm now. It's the curse of the resurrected Satan. Our beloved queen does not awaken. Is he doing drama in there? Or is this like some really weird role playing? Cause she's down on the ground. That guy's like waving to get the fuck out or no, he's playing music. So this fat guy in the king outfit hired out all those people so he could go in here and pretend to bang sleeping Beauty? I don't know. Legend has been passed on. Hey, shouldn't we stop him soon? We have a luncheon with President Shinra. You tell him. I can't tell him. Come on. Oh, well. This shit's funny. A legend has been passed on. I'm so disgusted with the president. It's like this every time we have a business trip to Mizgar. We have to hang out with him while he fucks these weird bee women. The great white sword on his back will not lead to the promised land. He's talking about, like, plot shit. 
Just gotta hold the lights. I've gotta wear this heavy armor. It's all part of the job. We just gotta watch this old guy fuck. The president's wife found out about his little hobby. <laughs> this is so stupid. I love it. Where did he go? I missed him. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm sorry. Please remove the ancient curse. And he's beating the shit out of somebody. Hurry. What's in here? The lover's room. Let's take a listen. People are sleeping in there. Eh, hey, I'll carry on. Alright, this room's important, actually. Oh god, here's another one of those guys, you know, the delicate type. Just ignore him, just ignore him. Fluff, fluff, fluff. I guess he doesn't realize his position. I feel sorry for him. Just ignore him, just ignore him. <laughs> pita, pita, pita. God, what a pest. Alright, get out of here, you dog. That's it, I'll name him Pooch. Mix, mix, mix. What should I do? Is he following me? Really? What if he follows me home? Creepy Japanese shit. Poochie will do. I'm sure of it. Shake, shake, shake. You think he's after me? Really? This guy makes me sick and his eyes are weird, too. Yeah, just don't hurt this guy's feelings. At least say hi to him. Uh, hello. Introduce yourself. Hey, yo, girl. Hey, got a nice ass. Let me smash. I'm Kliggs, jack of all trades. My name is a mistake. Oh, yeah, welcome, Kliggs. Don't get carried away. Remember, your name is Poochie. Take care, Kliggs. Take care, Kliggs. I get to be creepy on her. She gets all freaked out because she thinks I'm going to touch her. Don't watch. What am I watching? You like fluffing your boobs? Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, I just can't seem to lose weight. Mm -hmm -hmm. Sir, you can't come in here. Yuck, a pervert. You're still in here? Well, good timing. What do you think about me? Not interested or whatever? Oh my, are you embarrassed? Man, why are you so moody? Oh my, you're still here? Well, good timing anyways. Not interested. No way, I'm so shocked. She got pissed off. All right, I, one of these I have to talk to. Take care, Cliggs. Oh, maybe this is the wrong room. Damn it. Because I gotta, I gotta go in one of these rooms and get makeup put on my face. The fuck room. Hold ground. We're not going in the fuck room yet. The group room, oh God. Which one do I take, the group room or the fuck room? The fuck room. Isn't it after the main room? It might be after the main room. Fuck it. Let's use the fuck room. I'll take the fuck room. Now all we have to do is enter the room. You're not going to have a change of heart. Hmm. I don't remember. Do I want to have group sex with a bunch of dudes or just go into the fuck room? I think if I go into the fuck room, I just fall asleep. Ah, shit! I meant to do the other one. This one's probably the violent type. <laughs> Alright, please. The group room. I wonder if they change if I ask. I want this room. Fuck it. I want to have group sex with a bunch of dudes. This is making it weird. Oh, yes, sir. So indecisive. Watch this be the mistake that fucks it up. Alright, we are in the fuck room. I'm locked in the fuck room. Or the group room. Not the fuck room, the group room. Shall we begin? I guess since you chose this room, that would mean you. Hate being lonely. Cut the small talk. Take off my pants. I don't want to talk right now. Everyone's waiting. What am I doing? Here they are. Alright, everyone. One, two, one, two. Here it comes. You ready to get open wide, boy? You ready to not be able to walk right for a month? What's up? <laughs> Please be gentle. What should I do? This could be dangerous. I'd better start drinking. Looks like I'm always going to be facing crises all my life. <laughs> Heave pant. Don't be so embarrassed. Loosen up, literally, because I'm huge. And I'm not gonna use lube. Let's wash off all our sweat and dirt. Let's do it! Come on, you guys! Yeah! Yeah, it's happening! You're the intimate type, huh? Would you look at that? Oh my god! Oh, look! It's happening! Do you hear the cum shots? Yeah! I'm bathing in something, all right. <laughs> 
It hurts! It hurts! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's too stuffy in here. You'll get used to it. Try counting to ten and relaxing. <laughs> Nine. How old are you? Old enough to know how to clean up after myself. Twenty-one. You're less than half my age. I'm so jealous. You want to join my young bubbies group? Fuck yeah! Could you go do someone else? Ew. Well, if that's how you feel too bad, we have a trip planned at a cabin out in the country. Five, four, three, two, one. And we've all busted on him. Where it's done. Why don't you stick around and play a bit? Daddy's so lonely. <laughs> yeah! We got real weird in it. <clears throat> yes! This is important to me. Here's a memento of our time together. Ten used condoms. I got bikini briefs. You know what? I think I fucked up. I think I was supposed to be getting sexy lingerie. Um. So we might not get picked, but that's okay, because all these bears picked us. <laughs> this is some underwear. I'm supposed to wear this? Maybe it's good. Well, if it's to save honkers, I guess there's no way around. No, come back! No, I need to wash off the guilt of that by banging a cheap slut! <laughs> Actually, wait, let me go find Martyr, she'll work. Oh! Shots fired. <laughs> so tiring. Oh, is something the matter? Not yet, or not really. Listen to you. You sure know how to make some people mad. Oh, something the matter? Not yet. Oh! She stung me with her sexy... Vagina butt. I don't know. Not yet. Ah, oh, pixelated sex. I don't know. Right. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't watch. Ah, don't. Ah, don't watch. All right, here we go. If I were to dress up like a woman, then I've got to prepare carefully. Seems like I could put on makeup here. Have them put makeup on. Hey, could you slut me up a bit? Oh my. For some reason there is some strange sound effect. Oh my, oh my. Everybody's like, what the fuck? What did he, what did he do to his face? <laughs> uh, sir, it's almost closing time, so please remember any personal belongings. I want flowers too, but I get so nervous in front of cute girls. This part's awesome. Hey, Cliggs. I bought some pretty flowers for Martyr. 500 gil, a little expensive, but at least I got her name. Thanks for the flowers and one gil. I'll treasure this. I'm going to dry it and keep it for good luck. Aw, she was nice to Johnny because he isn't in there smashing. I asked Martyr for a date, but she said not even if I paid her a million gil. Her flowers cost 300 gil, too. She's a good businesswoman. We'll spend any amount of money on your shitty flowers because we want to smash. All right, so I've got underwear, makeup, I've got cologne, I've got the dress, now I just need the wig. Oh, and I've got the tiara, too. Do I need anything else? Did I miss anything, uh, Smetterling? I don't think I did. But now we gotta go in here. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. I used to have the pace of this down perfectly, but I'm always worried I'm gonna fuck it up every time I do it. I probably totally should have saved before doing this. Whatever. Right. And about the wig. Yeah, I heard, but it'll cost you. Erg! The only way you're gonna get cuter is if you can beat Big Bro! Oh. So you've gotta compete with us. Let's do squats! The beautiful bro? What, you didn't know? Always running around here saying Big Bro this, Big Bro that. Never mind that, come over here. I'm gonna have a squat off with this bro. Squat. Square, X, circle. Square, X, circle. I'm gonna do practice just to get the rhythm down. Da, 
in 30 seconds to get the wig. I'm not gonna lose Big Bro's big wig, it's mine. Yeah, let's do practice. There is the uh, pace that we have to go at. There's a good rhythm as long as I don't fuck this pace and this rhythm up. This is how we gonna do it. Leave me a follow and a like. Follow my Twitter. Yay, yay. Rick Squad doing the Final Fantasy Squats. <laughs> I'm sorry. You had 17 squats. Now let's begin the real thing. Start. The problem is, like, for the pacing, usually the rhythm you get from listening, but this guy is making the same noise as I am. So you've got to really just focus on it. Like, to be honest, my eyes are unfocusing, and I'm just paying attention to the rhythm and watching his face and watching his mo movements. He had 16 squats, and you had 17 squats. Yeah! You're really something. Okay, I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Okay, hopefully we get it. Receive blonde wig. I'm so mad, I'm so mad. Damn! You want to join my team? You get rid of honkers in a second. I don't even care if you got a dick. I smash. Don't you see what I did in that bathhouse with all them men? I have very loose morals. <laughs> Shut up. It's funny to me. All right, let's save and then continue on. Access the menu and then press select to save your game. All right. Here we go. I like the art in this game. The the 2D art. I think it looks really good. The pre-rendered stuff looks pretty good, too. I don't think it's nearly... I mean, granted, this is more cartoonized than, like, the Resident Evil stuff, or the Resident Evil stuff was supposed to, supposed to be going to, for some... Shit, wrong word. Some, like, degree of realism, and I think it actually really worked for those games. Uh, this shit just looks cartoony, so I don't think it looks as good, but it's still pretty... It's pretty all right. Uh, looks like you got it, so try it on for size. Here we go. Looks like you're all set. Now let's try it on and see how it fits. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Hopefully I'm ready. If I get picked, I'm going to be really happy, but I think I might have fucked up getting banged by all those dudes in the bathhouse. This may be a new business for me. Thanks for showing us something new. My father's got his motivation back now, so the dress is on the house. Yay, they didn't charge me for the weird dude trap dress. What do you mean, nicely? <laughs> You're so cute, Miss Cliggs. <laughs> I want one. How's this? How about that one? This one's much better. No, shut your damn mouth, child. I want this one. I'm going to go change. I'm going to look like a classy painted up whore. No peeking. Don't want you to see that I actually have six nipples. It'll be... This has been fun, kooky fun, but it'll be fun to get away from... Or fun to finally get away from the creepy sex shit. Oh, you're no fun. Hey, she looks fine. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. I hope they keep this shit in for the remake, too. <laughs> it hurts. That fucking bath scene. That was funny. Alright, let's go. Damn, your friend's hot too. Come on in. Two ladies coming through. Desperate for that D. It's gonna get real weird in HD. No, it isn't. It's gonna be funny. It's still gonna be funny. If anything, they could, like, double down and make it even zanier. That would be funny, I think. Let's go find honkers. All right. So go right down this way to go get us some honkers. She's wearing like this skimpy little mini skirt. Look at her. <laughs> Are you honkers? How did you know? Was it due to my gigantic honkers? Cliggs told me a lot about you. And you are? 
Hey, you're the one with Kligs in the park. Right. With Kligs. Back off, bitch. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. What do you mean? Don't worry about what? I'm just gonna peg him later. No, don't misunderstand. Kligs and I grew up together. Nothing more. <laughs> Both of you are so clearly desperate for the D. <laughs> right, Kligs? She, my childhood friend doesn't even recognize me since I'm all dolled up. Oh my god. Why are you dressed like that and what are you doing here? Forget that, what happened after the fall? Are you dead? Are you dead, bro? Give me a chance to answer. I'm dressed like this because there's no other way to get in here. Martyr helped me out. I wonder why she's named Martyr. I wonder why we did that. What are you doing in a place like this? I'm trying to get fucked. I'll just plug my ears. Okay, she's got her ears plugged. I'm trying to get fucked. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Shit. I should have run over and grabbed that thing. When got back, there was a weird man. Kanye caught him and squeezed some info out of him. The Don's name popped up. Uh-oh. Don Corneo. Told me to leave the lech alone, but something's been bothering me. I see. So you want to get the story straight from Cornhole's mouth. We're going to call him Cornholio for the rest of this fucking LP, it's decided. So I made it here, but now I'm in a bind. Corneo is looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls and chooses one of them. And well... Anyway, I have to be the girl or I'm out for tonight. I need him to put a baby in me. Sorry, but I overheard. I want a baby too. We should see if he can put a baby in uh, Kligs over here. I guess so. We have two here, right? No, Martyr, I can't have you get involved. Oh, so it's a ride for honkers to get split in half by a big, fat, ugly old man? No, I don't want honkers in. <laughs> said, all right. I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. I love how they're just like, fuck you, Kligs. We don't give a shit about you, Kligs. Do you trust me? Yes, thanks, Miss Martyr. Call me Martyr. I'm a martyr. Hey! Oh, it's time, ladies. The Don is waiting. Goddamn fucking women, blah, 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 blah. Hurry up! <laughs> that dick isn't gonna suck itself. Oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't need to ask, but the other girl is me, right? <laughs> You're right, there was no need to ask. Grabbed an ether. Let's go, ladies. Going to get suspicious if we don't hurry. Let's go. Don's waiting in his room. Ha ha ha. Are you all ready for some creepy Donald Trump shit? I don't know. <laughs> all right, ladies, line up in front of the Don. Show him what you're working with. I'M SO HORNY! Ah! Which girl should I choose? If I don't get chose, I'm sorry, bro. If I do get chose, then cool. Or this one. What about this one? It's working really hard to not get looked at. <laughs> I've made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... Yeah! We gonna get fucked by this fat dude! <laughs> Apparently I look good than hot chick, hot anime chick A or hot anime chick B. I love chickies who play hard to get. We did it! We the best! Yeah, boy! You can have the other ones. Shall we go? Sure. All right. So remember how we totally walked into getting banged by all those dudes before? Guess what I can do here? Almost the exact same goddamn thing. I'm gonna lose audio for one second. Bam. And it's back. Bam. <laughs> We're finally alone. All right, pussycat, come to daddy. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, take me. I'm ready. Use me. Do you like me too? Of course. Ugh. I love your fat rolls. I can smell KFC out of every roll. Whatever you want, daddy. 
He's getting really into it. Actually, I get yelled at if I get too into it here. All right. <laughs> he almost went for it. Bang him! Just a minute. <laughs> Were you really? Yeah! Wasn't that the point? <laughs> it's like, I'm a dude, bro. You should rethink your life, bro. I don't think you're really into chicks, bro. It's all good, though, bro. We're asking the questions now, or we're gonna mutilate your fucking balls. <laughs> we have spent the last hour trying to get Cloud, or Cligs in this case, plowed by a man. So talk! I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was, like I was ordered to do. By who? If I told you that, I'd be killed. If you don't tell us... I'll rip your balls off, brah! <laughs> it was Heidegger of Shinra. Head of Public Safety and Maintenance. You say Shinra? What are they up to? If you don't tell us... I'll fondle them! I mean smash them! Th smash them! Shut up! Oh, you're serious, aren't you? Oh no! I just want to breed! They're gonna crush... Avalanche! On top! Fall down! Get it? You know what's gonna ha go happen? The play will go pling and everything's gonna go pling, ping! And everything's gonna go bam! Hideouts in Sector 7 slums. They're all gonna get killed. They're gonna wipe out the Sector 7 slums! There was somebody at my door. Never mind. Of course, honkers. Sorry, I'll come back when these damn women aren't with us and we can pick up where we took off them. Daddy, I don't know. Fuck me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> That's what Kliggs is saying. Shut up! Oh, wait, it'll only take a second. There's gum feels when they babble on about the truth. They're sure they'll win. What the fuck am I hearing? Hang on, guys. Never mind. Hey, remember that time we fell into that, that horny fat bastard's trap? Yeah. Hey, remember that time we were a trap? Yeah. Alright. We're finally away, away from the creepy sex thing. So I guess... I guess this stream is ruined. Because we're done with the creepy sex thing. I like how this Reeve guy is the only one that's like, no, don't kill 50,000 plus people just to kill like five people. Flush those personal problems in the morning. The mayor's against this. Who gives a shit about the mayor? He's a piece of shit. You're all a piece of shit. He just sits in the building all day feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. Now, if you'll all excuse me, sir. I am botching this reading. I know I am. Oh, well. You're tired. Why don't you take a couple days off and go somewhere? Like to that weird creepy sex cave in Sector 6. There's a bunch of old guys there who like taking baths with young boys. I say Avalanche did it. No, we'll send everything in and we'll be the best around. Okay, if I remember correctly, whoever you talk to first is actually, like, kind of important. Shit, I should have talked to Martyr first. Man, this is terrible. Now we talk to her. Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed the creepy sex thing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna highlight that. That shit was. F I think I'm gonna highlight both of those. That was fucking funny. Thanks for coming and hanging out, Smetterlene. I really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again. I'll leave a follow for updates on when we're going to do more streams like this. Uh, the worst is over. Oh, God. There's a loud, creepy screaming thing. Shit. I forgot to, uh... Or I didn't equip What's-Her-Face with stuff, but that's okay, because we've got, uh... We've got the limits here. Oops. 
There we go. Alright, so... Let's see, do I have anybody to cure? No, I do not. So we will start with fire. We need to change around the, uh, the magic stuff, too, later. Oh, that sewer tsunami's a bitch. Actually, it isn't too bad. Plus, with Martyr in the, in the, the group, her, uh... Uh, the majority of her limit breaks are based around healing. So, uh... She's actually a really useful early game character to have. Uh, right, uh, the magic, there we go. We'll keep attacking, and uh, we can do with Honkers as attack. I mean, we could use items with Honkers, but we're not gonna do that. Here we go. Oh! Hey, thanks for the follow, Smetterlene, I appreciate it. Hopefully we will see you again. Fun hanging out. Yeah, so I wasn't kidding when I said the first part of this game is, is really fucking easy. Because, I mean, look at this. Here we are on, what, third or fourth boss? Third boss, I think. And um, we're not having any problems with this guy. Like, yeah, he's got some some area attacks. But look at this. Now we're... Oh, ah, I fucked that one up. Now here we are with our limit breaks. We're going to take this guy out and we're going to be totally cool. There we go. There's another hit. There's our healing wind. And another braver. Um, I will be... I'm not going to be doing it now, um, obviously. But uh, once we get out of Midgar, I will be taking some non-stream time to grind out a bunch of levels and stuff. Uh, um, I won't do any, like, story shit or anything. So don't worry about missing anything. But I will be doing that. Um, so at some point... You guys will see it, and suddenly everybody will be a lot better equipped. Excuse me. Uh, ha! You killed yourself, bro. So hopefully y'all don't... I mean, if y'all want to see that, let me know. Let me know in the, the chat. Let me know on the page. Let me know on the Twitter. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with streaming grinding. I just figured y'all wouldn't want to watch that. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Yeah, we still have time. Let's go. Right, we're going to grab some stuff up here. Actually, very quickly. Oops. <laughs> so fucked up. We want to equip... Oh, I don't have uh, anything different right now. But we can at least equip materia on you now. Let's go. I might take I might take that all off of Cloud and put it on somebody else. Actually, no, I won't, uh, because we're gonna get to a point here where we're gonna be getting another one very soon. Uh, so I'm not too worried about um, keeping all the good materia on one character at this point. It's not gonna be a big deal. These guys are taking some hits though. Look at this. There we go. We did all right though. Um, an interesting thing about the way the leveling works in this game is at lower levels, the, uh, the, the actual physical attacks, especially once you hit a certain point, uh, pale in comparison to what you can do with magic, which I guess incentivizes you to use magic to begin with. Um, but once you reach a certain point, um, and you start equipping better and better weapons, uh, wait, I want to equip materia, whoops. Uh, once you get uh, past a certain level and you get better and better weapons, you get to a point where you can do viable, like, physical attack-only builds. Um, I probably won't be doing that here. I might do it with, like, one or two characters. Um, so that's my normal modus operandi, I guess. Um, but if you guys want to see something special, and like I said, I'll be doing using those gimmick builds later on to uh, ruin the... Uh, the, the optional endgame bosses. But, uh, you got mixed up in all of this. I'm sorry. Uh, but if you guys want to see, like, a specific gimmick build or something, uh, let me know. Also, there will probably uh, be some point um, in the stream, like, once we get later in the game, where I will just go around the world collecting all the enemy skills. Um... And I would love to do that on stream, because I've never gotten all the enemy skills. Um, and I think it would be really cool to do that on stream with y'all helping me out with that. So, um, 
Obviously, I'll leave notifications on, like, the Twitch channel and everything for when that kind of shit goes down. Um, but hopefully you guys will enjoy stuff like that. Steel, and let's get a bolt in here. Alright, so Honker's main thing for now is going to be stealing, um, because you can get some rather expensive items early on here using the stealing mechanics. So we're basically, we're losing out on an attack for the ability to get stuff that honestly isn't going to be that important later on anyways. These guys are taking a lot of hits though. Maybe should have taken a few minutes to grind out some levels. I don't know. I'm steal from this guy. I accidentally stole from the same guy twice. Damn, they got demi attacks and shit too. Couldn't steal anything. Man, this is this is actually turning out to be Oh, Ice heals them, so I've been healing them the entire fucking time. Well, I'm dumb, I should have been paying attention to shit like that. Does fire heal them? At least now that I know ice hurts them. 50 damage. There we got limit break. Use that on this guy. Hopefully they'll take this guy out right away. having some issues with my screen health. How does this stream look, you guys? Does it look alright? Hopefully it does. Alright. We're good for now. We'll go up here. We'll use a tent. Because why not? Oh, we only have one tent right now. Interesting. And then from there, we'll come up here and grab this item and then continue on with this little dungeon area. If you guys have never seen this part before, eh, everybody's seen this. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, did I go the wrong way again? I did. God, it has been a while. Got another hype potion, though. That's cool. I think I'm actually supposed to go across here. I thought I was not going on the critical path, but I was, and then I was... Argh, it's kind of annoying. Come down here. Up this way. I think there's an item in that uh, burnt out trash can up there. Alright, these guys are kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, so the idea is to try and kill them all at once with magic. Oh. See, because then this happens. There we go, one down. Hopefully ice doesn't heal these guys. Oh man, fire did a ton of damage. Apparently these damn... Zombies? I don't know, they're ghosts. I'm stupid. These ghosts are allergic to fire. Yes, I know I'm using the term allergic incorrectly. Deal with it! You ain't nothing. Echo screen, which cures silence, which will be useful later on. So we'll come on through here. I don't think there's anything down there I could have grabbed. I don't think so. So this area is known as the Train Graveyard. And it's kind of easy to see why. Well, except for the ghost, this looks like a place you'd find a bunch of like homeless people living. I'm surprised. Uh, I mean, as the ghost yard, it makes sense that it's not bad. Bolt. We're not gonna use ice. There's another good hit. Stolen ether. Alright. Going pretty well. You get, you get a good amount of magic points to start off with in this game, too. You're not, like, held back dealing with magic right at the beginning here. Uh, in some games you are, but this one not so much. Not so much. Alright, we got 
potion and we continue on to the next screen. Right, there's an item down there we're gonna go grab. I usually won't go out of my way to grab all the items. I'm just, I'm doing it now uh, simply because it's one something to do. I don't know. The fact that it's a role-playing game means that um, you can basically... Wow, they silenced Martyr. That's that's rough. In a role-playing game, you can pretty much grind out enough gold and enough experience to beat, overcome, buy everything in the game. Uh, man, silencing everybody. Did that kill you? Nope. What you got? You got something on you? Couldn't steal anything. We'll try one more steal. Mono laser. I'm a cyclops. Do you get it? Hey, Honker's got a limit break. Good. You get a lot of limit breaks in this game. It's fun. It's fun that you get to use my tongue, you know? Alright. Get, get a quick steal in there. Limit break. Yeah! Oh no! Okay, I wouldn't normally do this. But I want to wake her up so she can use her damn limit break. There's items you can use to wake up uh, characters that are afflicted with sleep. Um, but you can also just, you know, just hit them. So that's what we did. We just hit them. Alright, we got another ether. Is there stuff over here I can grab? I don't know. Is this the way? Nope, this is the way we came from. Crap. Sorry. Hey, another fight. Why not? Can't beat him out experience him. Alright. I want to wait for clicks. Let's get fire on that guy. We'll worry about those ghosts later. Bolt! Yeah! Did you get it? Yeah, you're my concern, just because you can use Demi. Let's see, can I steal anything off of these ghosts? There's probably people out in the world who are much better at streaming this game than I am that know exactly what to steal from who, where, and when. I am not that person, unfortunately. You drained from me, how dare you? You stole my health, this is... This, this. There we go. I'm stealing from nothing. Let's get our heals on. I don't care about you, I'm waiting for you. Try to steal again. You stole ghost hand. Isn't that a weapon for... What is that? I think that's a weapon. I can't remember what Ghost Hand is. I'm horribly interested in what Ghost Hand is. Aren't you all horribly interested in what Ghost Hand is? It might just be an item that does damage, in which case, well, you know, big fucking deal. Um, but it might also be a weapon for hunkers. I cannot remember. Item. Ghost hand. Nope. Oh, yeah, it's just an item that drains MP. Darn. I got excited. They they have a bunch of, like, damage dealing items. And items with, like, special abilities and stuff in this game. Um, they're not very good. And I'm not really, like, used to dealing with them. Or used to using them, I should say. Because um, they do very little. Um... It would be great if you could get items that were better for stuff. Bolt on all of these guys. We want to steal an ether off of one of them. We want to hit them with stuff. Oh, and then we'll be able to hit one of them with a limit break. They take so little lightning damage, too. Man, I'm going to be excited if we actually manage to get uh, Cross Slash, which is... Uh, Liggs' next limit break before we get out of Midgar. Might be able to. That sounded like it was. Why did I miss? 
Am I blind? No, I'm not blind. Whoops. Well, I fucked that up. I didn't realize she was on limit break and it switched over while I had already clicked on her attack thing, unfortunately. This didn't do much in the way of damage. Now yeah, we'll just whack at this guy until it's over. There we go, another level for murder. How nice. Um, this is more of an old school RPG. Um, what I mean by that, or what I was going to say, and that is poor, because in old school RPGs, your characters that weren't in your party didn't really gain experience. So if you either uh, stick with like only three characters the entire game and then you're stuck forced using other characters, you're going to end up with characters who are underleveled. Um, and there's nothing you can really do about that except rotate between... Does this go anywhere? No, it does not. There's nothing you can do about that except rotate between characters. Um, which takes time to grind them up then. Okay, I would talk to him, but everybody knows that there's some crazy fucking bullshit going on up here. We made it! The pillar's standing. Yeah, you would be dead if the pillar wasn't standing. Good job. There's something above us? Gunfire? Who's the only person that uses a gun that we know? It's terrorists! Look at that. That's actually a really cool shot, I think. I know it's just the same shot from before with tiny little sprites on there. Uh, not really sprites, but tiny little mod- OH GOD! How did he fucking survive that? <laughs> Are you alright, Wedge? You're fucking- you look fucked up! He's just happy I remembered his name. Kanye's up top. Help him drop that album. I'm sorry I wasn't any help. You did fine, Fatso. You did a good job. I'm going up. Martyr, you look after Wedge. Martyr, do me a favor. I have a bar called Seven Th Heaven in this neighborhood. There's a little girl named Marlene there. Don't worry, I'll put her somewhere safe. Like that sex club in 6th sector. It's dangerous there, everybody get away from the pillar quickly. Everyone get out of sector 7! Alright, so we can talk to people. I think a couple people give us. I'm scared, but it's for your own good. He's just like, here, you wanna buy some shit? Um... And now's not the time to use hyper. I'll explain what that stuff does later. First of all, let's talk to this guy. Help, my strange and wonderful little place. What do you have to say? This is supposed to be my last job. Do something. Great, I'm quitting tomorrow. Look, this is my job, so I have to be here until the absolute last minute. I just love men with a sense of duty. Let me stay here with you. I'm so wet. Is it the same thing? Probably. Let's see, if I talk to you again, are you going to say anything else? Strange and wonderful little place. All right, before we go on to this dramatic conclusion here, I'm going to take a quick little break because it has been two and a half hours. I probably won't be more than 30 seconds, maybe less than a minute. So if you all don't mind bearing with me for a little bit, I would appreciate that. I'll see you guys shortly.
All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Sound check's looking good. And I'm thinking I'm back. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys. Hopefully y'all didn't leave. Let's go. Where am I? Oh, Jesus. How the fuck did I get up there? I don't remember doing that. I must have set the controller down wrong or something. Oh, well. Let's go. Uh, let's see. I got a really quick jack. Oops. Materials equipped. Same as usual. Okay. Hey, look. It's Biggs. Thanks, Cligs. Glad that you've shown that you care about me. Go help Kanye. He's trying to figure out what words means goods. He's trying to figure out how to simultaneously smile and not smile. Oh, I should have stolen from him to start out. Oh well. Oh wow, he managed to avoid my attack. So part of the reason that I keep saying I'm gonna grind once I get to uh, I get out of Midgar is simply because um, if I can grind out 10 or 15 levels or so, um, the the battles themselves are gonna start to go a lot faster. Um, and the reason for that, the reason for that is because of uh, uh, like I said, the, the AT gauge starts to fill up faster. You get faster characters as you continue on. Uh, uh, so luckily we won't have to be sitting around with two opposing forces staring at each other for ten seconds out of every fight. Here we go. Alright, we've got a back attack. Oh, both sides, okay. All right, I think these guys should be susceptible to bolt attacks, which is lucky because we both got bolt equipped. Yeah, that does quite a bit of damage to these guys. Perfect. Come on, hit him with that braver. Yeah, get him. Yeah. Ow. Cloud's gonna need a little healing in a while here. So when, we're, when the enemies are split up across sides like this, unfortunately, you can't use all attacks to hit all of them. You can only hit one side or the other side. So it's kind of a waste of all, but it's better than nothing. Oh, wow, he's still up even after taking... Oops. Accidentally used bolt there, but... Or uh, ice there, but it did not matter. Cross slash gain. Fuck yeah. It's actually really powerful at this stage of the game. Pligs, I'm glad I could talk with you one last time. Don't say last. That's all right. Because of our actions, many people died. This is probably our punishment. Yeah, bye. Here we got a bunch of dead guys and an angry Kanye hanging out. Looks like we got another fight to go before we get to that. bolt all three of these guys. All can be pretty powerful in general and just early on just because you can hit everybody with it. It takes a lot more uh, magic points to use, um, but that's because you're technically using it two, three, four, however many times. Uh, so it works out okay. Uh, we need to heal. We got a limit break attack out. Let's go. Bam! You dead. Um. So the way that the way that like slot machine thing works is, um, if you hit yeah, uh, it's a critical attack. If you hit hit, um, it's a guaranteed hit. And if you hit uh, the other word, I can't think of. Shit missing these damn guys. If you hit miss, it's obviously a miss. So the good thing about her limit break... I'm gonna save this fucking limit break. I'm gonna save this for the boss fight coming up. So the good thing about her limit break is uh, you get guaranteed hits as long as you play the game right. Which sometimes can be difficult. Alright. 
So we're definitely going to have to heal him in a second here. But luckily we've got the opportunity to do it now. And we'll have we'll have the opportunity also right before the fight. Because uh, there's a boss fight coming up here. Probably spoiling it there. No big. Yes. Uh, because they also give you an opportunity to equip this guy with materia. I don't know if you've noticed, but when the characters get traded out of the party, their materia is automatically gotten taken off. That won't happen later when you get to change in between party members manually, but for now. So he's been firing at a, holocop a helicopter here. Press the menu button to access the menu button, and the OK button when finished. So let's equip... Uh, do I have an iron bangle I can put on you? I do. Good. Restore, fire, and ice. And press OK when finished. Here they come. This would be cool if this turned into a helicopter shooting minigame. I like how they sent, like, basically just one guy. And they just let him press the button. Good job. We failed. Fish in mailed. Please, Kanye, please. No one get in the way of Reno and the Turks. Alright, so first things first, we want Honkers to fucking steal from this guy. You always want to... Oh, nothing to steal? Never mind, I guess. You always want to steal off of bosses. Yeah, it's so cool! So you want to punch that thing to break it off of the people so that they can do things. Right, so that does 84. What does Cloud's attack do? 89 with a crit. Bonkers does 35 with a crit. So see, magic is pretty much the way to go right in the beginning here. So you can do 87, you can do much higher damage than your actual physical attacks. Which is cool, because it's fun to... It's fun to see the magic in this game. It's good, it's nice and simple, before it got way too complicated. It was one of the things I didn't like about... Um, one of the things I didn't like... Uh, did she just punch herself? God damn it. That's what we want. There we go. Oh, she shocked me. I know it's a heat. Shut up. Right, let's get you a fire attack. It should be almost over. I shouldn't have to worry about healing that guy. it anyways. Yeah, get him. Get him with them jabs, girl. That uppercut. Fuck yeah. Honkers Tifa is actually a pretty cool character, I think. Go hit that. Why not get a physical attack in here? I mean, it's not like we're... Oh, perfect, we win. It's not like we're hurting for MP at this point. Later on, we will. Later on, MP becomes a problem. But for right now, not a big deal. We're getting some money off of all these fights. <laughs> Look at her spin around. I always thought that was kind of funny. Right. Damn, it's a time bomb. I don't know how to stop this. Try it. It's not a normal time bomb. Oh god! It's another asshole in a suit. Blow the second some stupid jerk touches it. Please stop it. No. <laughs> Only an executive can do it. <laughs> They're like 50 feet away. How's he missing? No, martyr! You should thank me. What are you going to do with Martyr? Oh, the creepy sex thing. Just like before. To catch the last remaining ancient, it's taken us a long time, but now I can finally report this to the president. Honkers, don't worry, she's alright. Damn! He slapped her good. 
That's not nice. Murder! Hurry up and get out! Get to the chopper! I should be starting right about now. Think you can escape in time? Probably not. Jesus! This is real bad, you guys. Ah! <laughs> Save us. As that plate starts coming down. Talk to you. Nope, you're gonna run around, okay. So this part's funny because they actually make fun of how big this guy actually is. Because she sits in his lap and then you like sit on his gigantic arm with your ass in his face and then you go for a big old ride. Look at that. Look at all these people about to die. Oh! oh. It's actually kind of brutal. Not gonna lie. Mission failed. This FMV is actually really awesome. Because from there we cut to this guy. I always liked this. I always really liked that that opening or this uh that kind of like those fuckers up there that bit i just thought that was really cool hey kanye all your friends are dead Damn playground got fucked up. Oh well. Marlene. Marlene! Ah, Marlene! Ah. He thinks his kid's dead. That's actually totally fucked up. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. God damn it! Damn it! Damn it all to hell! What's it all for? Ah! Hey, Kanye. Kanye! Motherfucker, arg. Hey, Kanye, stop. Please stop, Kanye. Erg. <laughs> Read this real deadpan. Angrily firing his weapon into the air. He really acts like a terrorist. God damn. He's real sad. Marlene. Kanye? Marlene is? I think Marlene is safe. Huh? Right before they took Martyr, she said, don't worry, she's all right. She was probably talking about Marlene. Really? But? Big Wedge Jesse. All three of them were in the pillar, and they're already pretty much dead. That one guy fell. Like, really, the fact that he was able to even create speech after that fall was pretty impressive. But we, all of us, fought together. I don't want to think of them as dead. Other people in Sector 7. A lot of people died. This kind of fucked up for an old dumb cartoon game. Yeah, it's your fault because the terrorists were there. It, you. You were being terrorists and they knew where you lived and so they killed everybody. It's the damn Shinra. It's never my fault. It's always the government's fault. And the corporation's fault. It's never results of my own actions. Never. They just want to make money with all their power that have helped people live better lives. They're trying to kill the planet. That's specifically what they're trying to do. That's what I believe. So I'm going to go blow up a bunch of fucking powered plants and kill a bunch of people. What do you know? You don't believe me? Not that. Not sure about my feelings. <laughs> and what about you? Cligs. Yo. Like, I'm out. I'm gonna go start a restaurant somewhere. I'm done. I'm done with this shit. Oh, Martyr. Yeah, that girl. What's up with her? I don't really know, but she's the one I left Marlene with. Damn! Marlene! There ain't no turning back now. 
Now we've got to become the ultimate world's greatest terrorists. Like no one ever was. To be a terrorist is my real test. To train terrorists is my cause. Pokemon! I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm fucking sorry. I blame all of you. No, I don't know. What's that? It's about the ancients. Flashback! In my veins courses the blood of the ancients. I am one of the rightful heirs to this plant. Sephidoth. Ah, oh, and now I'm dying. Pull it together, man. And then they just disappear inside my butt. Oh, that's the reason Cloud's able to beat this game, or Kligs, I guess his name is this time. It's because he has a special power where people can disappear into his butt and walk around with him. Yes, I'm being an idiot. Let's steal from this dumbass guy. Alright. So darkness is really shitty and it's a actually kind of a genuinely bad thing to deal with. But uh where's I going with that? I don't know, I just want to say but. Oh, but if you have magic equipped you can use the magic instead. Um so you can still deal damage without having to deal with the whole darkness thing. It's a little bit tougher to deal with when you get characters that are designed around using melee. Um, which becomes viable later on simply because you might run into a lot of places where there aren't going to be a lot of uh, save points. And you're going to be out and about for a long time. Oh. Alright, I'm pretty sure we want to go back to that one... Uh, Pretty sure we're gonna want to go back to that one weapon shop we ignored before, um, because we should be able to buy another weapon here soon for, I think either for teeth or for honkers or for actually yeah I think for honkers. So let's go. Oof. Hope y'all are enjoying the stream. Even with all that commotion you went on like nothing happens, you must have really been through the mill to get like that. If we had talked to this guy before, he would have been gone now, I think. No, wait, he disappears later, after a certain thing happens. So I was rumbling and then kerblam, I was so scared, sniff. Alright, everybody's talking about how everything's fucked up. You never know what's gonna happen, it's a crazy world, so you better at least have, at least have a weapon you can depend on. Still only selling Titan Bangles and grenades. What about you, bro? It's loud outside, I wonder what's happening. Oh, I guess you never buy from him. It was either there or the materia sh I can't remember, fuck it. Just go over here, figure out the bad thing that's going on. This is theme of Aerith, this is fucked up, or Aeris, excuse me, Kligs, wasn't it? It's about Martyr, isn't it? Sorry, the Shinra have her. I know, they took her from here. They were here? That's what Martyr wanted. To be a martyr. Why is Shinra after the martyr? They need a martyr. <laughs> She's a sole survivor of the ancients. But I'm her adopted mother. Fifteen years ago, some half-dead lady brought the children here. So that's an interesting thing. There's a, a lore that uh, Shinri had to fight a war against the nation of Wutai, which is off to the east. Actually, I think they're the westmost continent of the world. So, excuse me. They're the westmost continent of the world. So there's Marlene's mom. Keeps looking for her husband to come home. Kind of all fucked up. But what are you going to do? That's war. My husband never came back. I never got any compensation from Shinra. I never got any notification that anything was wrong. This chick gets it hard, because first her husband dies, then other things happen, and she never gets any recompense. She never gets any, oh, I guess my life is happy. She's just left with nothing. She's left with nothing and no one, and it's the worst. 
And I genuinely feel bad for this character. Eh, what are you going to do, though? That's video game. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. Yeah, he's dead. I went to the station every day. Then one day... I got churros instead. No. Found this half-dead chick. And this crying little girl. How sad, actually. Okay, enough being sad. You used to see that sort of thing a lot during the war. The last words were, Please take martyr somewhere safe. <laughs> My husband never came back. I had no child, so I was probably lonely. I decided to take her home with me. I was probably lonely. Martyr and I became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. She told me she escaped from some kind of research lab somewhere and that her mother had already returned to the planet so she wasn't lonely and many other things. Return to the planet? I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom! I think that's actually a really cool transition. Please don't cry. Martyr just blurted that out all of a sudden when I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he already returned to the planet. So she knew her husband. She knew her mother's husband died. But several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. See, she just gets stuck with everybody around her that she loves and knows dying. It sucks for her. A lot had happened, but we were happy until one day. One second here. I want you to return Martyr to us. We've been searching for her for some time. Damn it. That's not what I want. Take me fucking home. Damn it. Sorry. No, never! You're a special child. You have special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. Of course I heard it, that she was an ancient. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Martyr will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Martyr's cooperation. He's wrong. I'm not an ancient. I'm not. But Martyr, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone? No, I don't. But I knew. I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. It's amazing how she's avoided Shinra for all these years. Shinra needed her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. On the way here, Seng found them. She probably couldn't get away fast enough, so she decided to go in exchange for the girl's safety. That's nice. Must be Marlene. Marlene? Martyr was caught because of Marlene? Martyr was martyred because of my daughter? I'm real sorry. How in the world could you leave a child like that? Please don't start with that. I think about it all the time. What would happen to Marlene if I... But you gotta understand something. I don't got an answer. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But I'm worried about Marlene. I really just want to be with her always. See? I'm going in circles now. I think I understand what you're saying. She's upstairs to sleep. Why don't you go see her? It's my fault. I'm the one who got Martyr involved in this. Don't say that. Martyr doesn't think that. Because she's a martyr. Sigh. My life is full of sadness and nobody ever is happy with me. I'm so glad you're alright. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Cool. We did it. We win. Cligs. You're going to go help Martyr, right? She's done so much for me. If it's the Shinra you're dealing with, I just can't sit here. I'm coming too. Guess what? Guess what? Martyr was asking me lots of questions, like what kind of person Kligs in. I is. I bet she likes you, Kligs. Let's hope so. <laughs> Cause I'm thirsty. <laughs> I won't tell honkers. <laughs> um. So you can go on a date with one of them women folk. 
Going after Martyr, right? Yeah. I'll talk more about that in a second. You can go on a date with one of them women folk, and how you answer a lot of these questions um, and how you interact with a lot of them is based on which one you get to go on a date with. I'm coming with you. You're on Shinra headquarters. You got to be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. Limit. If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Kanye! Lamborghini Mercy. <laughs> yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You better go somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. Okay. Alright, so there's the setup. Let's go fuck up the Shinrars. How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Huh. Well, let's just go to Wall Market. We might be able to find something there. Let's keep going. Hope y'all are enjoying the stream. I know I am enjoying streaming it to y'all. Wall Market is... This way, yeah. Just gotta go back the way I came. It is my intention for this stream uh, to at least get up to the Shinra building. I don't know about getting through it. I might keep that for a stream later tonight. Hey, look, we got a sense materia. Um, borderline worthless. Uh, we need to equip those damn things. We bought uh, Titan Bangles for both of these characters. You get sense. There we go. Because, um, yes, unfortunately, the stream will have to come to an end at some point. So I think we will be getting up to Shinra. And then from there, uh, later tonight, we'll finish up to the story involving Sephiroth once we get out of Midgar. Hey, y'all, please stay here. Fuck you. You ain't a real person. None of y'all real. Mm, yeah, why not save? been a while since we've saved. Do I get a tent? I do not. So do a quick save here. Alright, there we go. Let's keep going. Is this pile of trash getting bigger? Yes, I think so. A lot of things came falling down when the Sector 7 pillar fell. Right, right, you're right. The owner of the weapon shop scavenged all the stuff that came falling down. Oh, is that why? He seems pretty suspicious these days. He went out to the cross section of Don's mansion. Oh, I wonder what he's doing. Yeah, it gives me the chills. So that's your cue. One, to talk to the weapon shop guy. And two, to go um, over by the place. Okay, here we go. This is important. Shit, I just bought all those other ones. We can buy four of those. Alright, here's some good weapons we can equip now. We don't even have the materia for this shit yet. But that's okay. The, uh... Extra defense and whatnot will, uh... Help us out here. I actually don't know... Yes, we've used all our materia. I actually don't know... Oops. I want. I still need to talk to the weapon shop guy. I actually don't know how important all the defense stats are at low levels in this game. I've never really studied it, you know? Going up to the plate, you better have a battery. You can sell me something you just found. Hey, you knew, but I repaired it, so it's all right. Why do I need a battery to climb up? You'll find out when you get there. How about for 100 gil each? All right. There's no other way. Tell him, I think you're full of it. Which I think is better than just no thank you. Okay, I'll follow you, children. Also, why are there children near the creepy sex thing? Oh, everyone climbed up this wire. Looks scary. Can we climb it? Yeah, it leads to the upper world. All right, let's climb this wire. There's no way we can do this. You know how far it goes up? There is a way. Look, what's it look like? Just a normal wire. Oh yeah? Well, to me it looks like a golden, shiny wire of hope. Let's do it. 
is the only way to save Martyr. Isn't that oxymoronic? That was a bad analogy. You're right. But Kanye, I understand how you feel. <laughs> Let's go. So here we got this weird, creepy, crazy dungeon, or climbing dungeon. This is actually a cool little bit. Although there's one or two annoying timing-based bits. Also, how did they get the fucking... How did they get the stuff up that high? Dad told me it was the Shinra's doing. Look at that. You can see the collapsed plate over there. Kind of brutal. It's brutal. Alright, so we want to run along here. And down here. And we've got three batteries. Um, each one does a different thing. Um, there's, there's an extra one you have, which you don't need to get to the top. Um, but if you use it, you will be able to get to a... Giant hair on Damn. If you use it, you're able to get to an item. Uh, so we will be doing that. We'll absolutely be doing that. God damn, my eye is just now. I ruined everything. I just screwed in my face. No, 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 no. God damn. Okay. And on we go. Climb up here. Did I did I do it wrong? I don't think I did it. Oh wait, yeah, I did it wrong. I'm an idiot. I gotta go over here and then climb up there. There we go. This is what we had to do. Climb over there. Climb up this. This is a really cool looking like little thing. All right, we need a battery here too. It was totally on the level with us. Isn't that something? to jump. There we go. First try. Awesome. That's what we needed. Look at this. We've almost made this. I remember this part being a little bit longer, to be perfectly honest. Alright. I'm supposed to go straight up, but instead I'm doing this to go get that up here something over here? Nope. Okay. Down this way. Alright, so we want to go here and put the battery in. Opens up. It gives us an ether. So we went through like an extra minute of stuff to get an ether. And now we got to do this fucking thing again. Got it the first time. Nope. Son of a bitch. You guys ready for the next 20 minutes of the stream to be us trying to get on this fucking little pipe? There we go. Okay. That wasn't too bad. It could have been much worse. Let's go. Yeah, okay, we do want to go up here. We're going to go up there and then go up on this part here. And from here, here we go down. And then we get back on this wire. And then we go up. That is how we get up to Shinra. Look at that. They have a helicopter and everything. Oh my god. So terrifying. Spotlight's so cool. Even though their frame rate is incredibly low. Yeah, what are you going to do? That's games from this era. Look at this fucking pose with the sword out and everything. Actually, that pose, like that shot, that whole shot without um, the other two characters was the, uh, was like the, um, the marketing material for this game. Hey, you ought to know this building well. Not really. Now that I think about it, it's my first time I've ever been to the headquarters. Heard about this place before. Every floor above the 60th is special and not easy to get to, even for employees. Must be where they took Martyr. Security's pretty light now. Ow, right, let's go. Wait a second, you're not thinking of just going right through the main entrance, are you? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go kick some Shinra butt and... That's not going to work, we've gotta find another way. Ain't gonna be no other way. I know that, but if we get caught here... Hey, Cliggs, what should we do? Let's bust on in. Yeah! If you sneak up, there's this super long stair climbing sequence where they make fun of climbing stairs and being fat and stuff. 
Um, it's okay. But if you go through the front, you get into a bunch of fights, which means experience. Um, and you actually open up a, a shop you can use, which I think has like a unique item or two in it. I can't remember. All right. But that is going to be the end of our stream for now. Um, it is entirely possible that I will stream this again today and uh, finish up um, uh, finish up Midgar and a few other things. So on that note, I want to thank everybody who came out to the stream today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, definitely leave a follow because uh, we'll be doing more of this soon and we stream a bunch of other cool stuff. Uh, this video will be archived at the YouTube channel, which you can follow the link below to get to. Uh, we do full Let's Plays and funny one-off videos over there as well. Uh, so if that kind of thing interests you, you should subscribe over there as well. Uh, to keep updated on when we're streaming and what we're streaming, you should follow the Twitter. There's a link to the Twitter below as well. Uh, I also shit post there too. So if you like, if you need another uh, uh, Twitter account in your Twitter feed, shit posting, that's where you want to go. Um, yeah. So once again, thank you guys for coming out. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming and spending time with us, and hopefully, I will see you next time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.